And we're back. Oh, shit. Wild Mage Live 8. On August 17th. You motherfuckers already know we coming back. Your mom's house live. Go to livestream.ymastudios.com. Join us. And a girl goes, oh, like, did you perform tonight? And he was like, yeah, I bombed. Real bad. And really bad. And she goes, oh, um, I just went to go see Tom Segura and he crushed. <gasps> oh, okay. Oh. Well, here's the thing. You can't get mad at her for telling the truth. Like, I fucking murdered, dude. It was ACL. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome. Welcome to your mom's house. Do you need a new mattress? Go to sattva.com slash the shit now for $200 off the next purchase of your Sattva mattress. It's the shit. Hello there. My name is John McAfee. Um, 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 John McAfee. Um, <laughs> um, um, John McAfee. Um, <laughs> someone help. Um, open someone help. John Jam. That was by Gaping Dad. Uh, it's called Poop on John McAfee. Um, rest in peace. Uh, great John McAfee. Oh, wow. That's right. Yeah, Mc McAfee antivirus. And of course, the hammock guy uh, made you sit in a hammock and shit through it as he laid there and collected it himself. And a potential presidential candidate. At Not one even point. a presidential candidate. I mean, candidate. He did. Yeah, wow. yeah. Right? What, he, what an accomplished man. Yeah, I don't think he got many votes. No. But. Um, but of all the things he's done, he did. I, I think shitting in the hammock was the coolest. It's or really a cool thing shit. to do. Yeah, yeah, it is. I mean, I'm a, I'm very much, you know, I, I'm not a kink shamer, but um, very cool choice. Yeah. Very cool. Super spash. Whew. That's shit right in the mouth. Mm-hmm. Go poo poo. Go poo poo. Go eat the poo poo. You're not going to say anything about my cool new look? Well, here's the thing. You know, last week was uh, uh, episode uh, 666. Yeah. And I was, um, yeah, you've decided to stick with it. Mm -hmm. Well, it gave me so much joy to dress up last week. I figured, why not keep it? Yeah, you got the uh, the fishnets on the, yeah, full golf. But I still, I'm just incorporating it into my, in today's look, you know? Yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, like I'm I'm a mom, but I'm I'm still a goth mom. Yeah, I'm a goth mom. You're a goth mom. I don't mind. You don't mind. So far, it's been pretty rad. It's a little. It's been difficult because it is summertime uh, yeah. to keep this makeup on, especially when I go to the beach. It's sweaty. Yeah. But uh, so far, so good. I mean, do people do stare at me like they used to? And um. But isn't that kind of the thrill? It was as a teenager. 
But now I, is it was it more like the fuck are you looking at? Yeah, it was just a, a way for me to get mad at people. Yeah. And now I'm but more now I do this for me because I really do like the look. Yeah. And now it's just for me. Yeah. And the kids don't like it. You don't seem to like it. No. But fuck all y'all. I'm yeah, off now. There you go. Now now you're back to being a teen. Yeah. Fuck you guys. Fuck you guys. Yeah. Fucking don't look at me like that. Yeah. I like it. So again, it takes hours to get ready yeah. nowadays. It's yeah. kind of a bummer. I can't just like put on jeans and a shirt and run out. Like I have to put on black and then put the white makeup on, get my how eyebrows. Long we how long is this prep? It's a while. Hour, hour and a half. Nice. Yeah. Simple. But easy. I wake up at, at 6.30 and I do this. Actually, sorry. I woke up at 5.30 so that I could do this before the kids wake up. And I don't like to have them bothering me while I'm yeah. doing my makeup. Well. Yep. Very so, cool. Goth, goth mom summer, guys. Goth mom summer. Yeah. Um, you know, I was thrilled that last week we were able to reconnect with one Robert Paul Champagne. Yeah. It was nice to know that, you know, also it takes a level of self-awareness. To say, I was lashing out. I was angry. When I'm True. angry, I say things. True. He didn't go like, he didn't do denial. Yeah. He didn't try to spin it. He was really actually very on point with it. I agree. I said things that I said because I was angry. Yeah. Did he apologize or he just was mm. like, I don't remember hearing I'm no. sorry. He just said when I'm angry, I, you know, I, lash I do out. that. Yeah. But <laughs> I was impressed with that actually. Yeah. I mean, I'm not, I'm not that easy to come to jesus yeah sometimes that you know i would need longer than that to be like you know what i, I was just really upset yeah yeah well he's a deep guy mm -hmm. and i think that's what we like about him is that he just unwrap like it's an onion and we get to know more and more about him yeah and he's talented you know he's singer he's also a, a, an artist yeah a performer he, does, he yeah. does everything he does porn yeah it's pretty cool and he uh yeah. he's running a charity robert paul i think Saves the children or something like that. I forget the name of it. Mm -hmm. You remember the name? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. It's on Debbie's Instagram page. Yeah. And then you pay Debbie and Debbie gives the money to Jennifer. Well, I think it, and, Debbie gives it to Robert first and then he gives it to Jenny. Right. Sorry. But yeah. also just put it in an envelope. Put it in an envelope. <laughs> That's how they do it nowadays. You put <laughs> money in an envelope and then you hand it to two people. That's the modern way to donate to charity. I've been doing these stupid wires or yeah, Venmo yeah. type of stuff. Mm -hmm. Blech, patooey. Yeah, credit cards. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Writing it. Put check. some cash in an envelope <laughs> and write it to Debbie. Yeah. <laughs> Remember how horrible it was? Yeah. To write a check, like just to have to carry a checkbook around. Always. Yeah. And then go to the grocery store and be like, oh, fuck. It. Also, yeah, the fact I that do. you realize that you could at least once write a check that you didn't have the amount for it. Yeah. Oh, I have. Yeah. Like I mean, accidentally, obviously. Right. But like people could write checks. All right. Here's the check. You're like, all right. And then it's like, oh, this thing doesn't work. Yeah. What if this account system. doesn't exist? <laughs> yeah. What an interesting thing we all did, right? And now it's it like on our system. Send that thing through the phone. Yeah. And I'll, I'll give it to you when I like get that. Right now. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I re and then remember, like, I never knew how much money I had in my bank account. Yeah. Remember when you, you could just call your bank and it automatic, automated, it would tell you the yeah. number. You and have. Like, Fuck. Yeah, dude. Like, $11 <laughs> and 26 cents. Yeah. I have. I, so many times. And the anxiety of calling that number, I'd be like, please, God, just $200, please, at least something. And the, uh, it was in, in, terrible. In college, you're just like, I'm college. just trying to pull a 20. I just want to pull <laughs> a 20. I was, how did, you know, I was thinking the other day, like, how did we live in college? I mean, I worked a part-time work-study job, mm -hmm. Department of Public Safety, shout out, USF. Yeah. But other than that, like, it was grants, loans, yeah. and then, you know, your tuition money or whatever. Like, how the fuck did we live? I don't I think know. I bought clothes for, like, four years. Or, you you know, I because I worked all, I started, I had a job starting the summer after freshman year. And then I worked through just the rest of the time in college. Full time or part time? Well, summer was full time. Yeah. School year was part time. Yeah, yeah. But, um, you know, you, you feel like, oh, I have income, right? <laughs> like, you're like, I have money. I make money. But just sometimes, you know, those things, you know, the, it would deposit, you'd deposit on a Thursday. And then you're like, fuck, it hasn't posted yet. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. So yeah. then you realize, oh, like, I guess I'm not going out tonight. Or, you know, you have to be like, hey, buddy, will you spot me? Like, you know, then you owe somebody money. Yeah. Or you just rely on like, hey, will you guys hook me up tonight? Will you bring booze and weed over yeah. to my place? And 
you know. Who's going to buy the sixer? Yeah. Yeah, I remember, um, or, or you did get paid for your part-time gig, and you're like, $250? You're like, Shit. Yeah. <laughs> I might go to London this weekend. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's such no concept of like what, what the actual real world costs at that point point in your life no idea all you needed was like beer money and cigarettes That's really it. and every now and then you bought a pa- i don't even remember buying a pair of shoes like maybe once in college like i was no. so poor yeah no shopping really wasn't yeah a thing. I, I no that's what you would like do that you would you know you, your parents come your to parents town would yeah and they'd be like why don't you tell me my bet my dad be like oh you gotta get let's go out and take, yeah. get you something yeah i'd be like oh cool can we get a tv mm. <laughs> yeah okay buy me a tv yeah my furniture was those milk crates yeah remember you just stack crates and fucking put a, a blanket over them or whatever you're like there's my coffee yeah. table so poor God. Um, speaking of rpc he was really vocal about his contempt for unshine i know and i might i don't know if i'm i'm trying to connect dots here but this might be a two-way street no although it might be a little more thinly veiled from oh, Unshine. Um, oh dear. Burbank, what's happening, man? Good morning, man. I'm cooling, man. Look, check this out, man. I'm looking at two men kissing on Good Morning America. You think that's right? Uh uh-uh, uh uh. Uh-uh. That's not right, man. That's not what's happening, man. You think that's directed at RPC? I think it might was, be. Wait, was. Oh. Who is Randy? Don't bring anyone mother into this. Your mom in the fucking stand! Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to your mom's house with Tom Segura. Tom, Tom Segura. And Christina Pajitsi. Christina Pajitsi. Welcome to your mom's house. What I'm saying is, yeah. Unkshine's not calling him out by name, but he just, uh, I mean, RPC's a proud gay man. Yeah. And he just said, I saw two men kissing. That ain't right. Uh-oh. You know? It's a dig. Yeah, I mean, two men kissing on TV? That ain't right. He just said that it. Right. Two men kissing on TV. Yeah. yeah. Does that happen on regular TV yet? Um. Yeah, I think that happens m- did, much more now. Did it happen on Good Morning America? Don't know. Um, I'm also surprised to learn that Unkshine's a Good Morning America viewer, right. you know? <laughs> right. Yeah. Most importantly, who the fuck is watching Good Morning America? You know, anymore? I was trying to get on Good Morning America to promote my book. <laughs> they refused you? They turned me down, yeah. Yeah, they refused me as well. <laughs> but look who's watching. <laughs> who's watching? Some of the most shit. avid book readers in the world watch Good Morning That's America. Right. Yeah. The most literate man in America. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, like, he's, here's how much he is not into two men kissing, okay? Oh, dear. Listen, Facebook, they got two men kissing on Good Morning America. Yeah. Yeah. I'd rather kiss that woman's ass. True. I'd rather eat her ass before I kiss that fucking man. Straight up. Straight up. (laughs) And that is exactly what RPC likes to do. That's true. So, you know, could there be? Beef. Right? We got to set these two up and, and they got to duke it out. Also, like, you know, they've both taken, you know, I mean, this has obviously more than a, a homophobic undertone. It's direct. Yeah. And then RPC, you know, mentioned that, you know, blacks aren't like this anymore. So <laughs> it's it's going both ways is what it feels like. <laughs> that's true. That's what I remember. He said that blacks don't do this anymore. That was ridiculous. <laughs> that's another time. We're like, what? <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, ugh. In God's eyes. In God's eyes. God's Two eyes. men kissing on TV. Yeah. On national TV. That's right, Unc. Now you know. That's not the right. That's not the right puzzle. Mm. Yeah. To put together. Right. I'm- right. And it just cuts off right there. <laughs> um, Mouth open. Yeah. Just ah. Yeah. End of story. He's not. I would say he's not technologically savvy. They never are. 
that's what makes them charming, you know? Yeah. The uh, cool guys? The cool guys. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's so funny. I didn't realize he was such a cultural critic on Shane. Yeah. He's really watching stuff. Like, but I think you're right. I think this is a direct dig at RPC. Yes. And these two are now going to go for each other's throats. I left I here stunned. Yeah. I saw this and I was stunned. Shocked, dismayed, and yeah. stunned. I would, you know, I'm not encouraging either, but I would like to see them post more about each other. <laughs> not encouraging it. Yeah. This would be a great battle of wits. Oh, indeed. yes. Yeah. He's just such a sloppy man. <laughs> yeah, no, which only be his complaint. Yeah. So this is a uh, uh, respect. Never kissing knows. a man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, Einstein does have to get with the times. I'll say that right right out of the gate. Well, yeah, I think gayness has been pretty universally. It's accepted. And, and you know, you're really, places, yeah. you know, you're really not, you're dating yourself. You're just separating yourself from society by saying that you can't support or handle that. Yeah, that's right? true. I mean, look, it took us how many years to accept gay people? Gosh. Yeah. I mean, as a so society. Many. Yeah. I mean. The gay rights movement. I mean, when did that even start? Maybe in the. 70s, 80s? 60s, maybe? Gosh, it right? took a long time. So, yeah. It, yeah. He's got a lot. It's, it's, it's a long time for humans to change. It is a long time. Yeah. A long time. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Unc. Keep doing the Lord's work. Just keep sharing your thoughts. <laughs> I wonder what uh, Unc would say about your look. I'm sure he doesn't see a lot of goths in, in Lafayette. <laughs> yeah, you know... Uh, it's harder to be goth in those hot weather states. Oh, yeah. It's definitely less popular. But when I traveled as Layers a goth... Layers of black. Yeah, yeah, it's tough to to do. But I I would see goths all over the world. I would yeah. go to Hungary to visit my family, and I'd see other goths there. Obviously, in you know, Europe, it's pretty big. Um, yeah. But, you know, east and west coast, mostly. There it is. Um, also, I think this is supposed to be... And this is a folder that I see labeled. I'm assuming it's to take a dig at me. Oh. And um, what? my injury. Oh. What do we got? <gasps> if you were curious what happens to a broken bone when it never heals, this is what you get. Oh, my god! Wild. I did That's always wonder terrible. that. Yeah, me you too. Have the, you have that thought, you know, after you have an injury, you're like, oh, what would happen if this wasn't taken care of? Well, remember I asked the guy in the ER, the guy, the doctor in the ER, I'm like, what would they do to me in the olden times? He's like, they probably just cut your leg off. Yeah. Or just like, yeah, what did you do before they had medicine? It would just wither isn't like that? Isn't that crazy? We're just going to cut it off. It's wild. You're like, well, it's it? broken. What are, what are we supposed to do? I know. Yeah. <laughs> I can't save this. Yeah. Fuck. <sighs> that guy's, it just goes all the way around and he then it's totally atrophy. Spun it around. But he yeah. can use his hand, it looks That's like. That's incredible, yeah. How is he using his hand if that part is... Whew. Maybe, God and I'm no dang. doctor, but maybe he didn't have uh, radial nerve damage. Mm. So the nerve's intact, but the bone and everything is... You know what I mean? So Pretty miraculous. He can do a windmill, and he can <laughs> still <laughs> work that stick shift. Remember when you did your windmill? Yeah. Do you remember when Bert put your hand right... Do yeah. you remember it? I remember the moment, sure. Do you remember the moment when you fell? Mm, yeah, yeah. <sighs> you didn't block any of it out? Uh, I guess at times you do, but I can access the memory. I mean, I can, you know. Yeah. The thing, the funny is, not funny, but I guess the thing that stands out is that the, um, you know, I just, I felt the pop and I lost, you lose power, right? Because you're, you're pushing off. And we had just been doing all this jumping. And I just remember that, I didn't know. Like when you watch the video, you're like, you're an inch off the ground. But in your head, you're like, I don't know if I'm falling from, you know, up by the rim. Like you just don't realize it. So the, the fall felt like, how far am I falling? Oh, my God. You know? You, it just feels like <clears throat> stories. It feels like stories a bigger and, drop yeah. than it is, you know? Oh. Uh, oh. Can I tell you a horrible story? Yeah. So my... My PT guy said that he was treating at the same time as I was being treated a firefighter who fell two stories. Like he, he missed the pole and he just fell two stories and just shattered like oh. everything and was so traumatized. <clears throat> I was asked 
by our PT to talk to somebody after we were still living in LA. So it wasn't that long after, but I mean, I was, you know, recovering somebody that she was treating who got hit by a car <laughs> and launched like 30, 40 feet and had shattered, like, like shattered limbs, you know? And I talked to her and I was like, holy shit. I remember. And she was a mother. Yeah. She had like two or three children, mm -hmm. small children. Small like, kids. Oh, she was, God. she was just jogging and a drunk driver hit her side of the jogging. road. Yeah. Jogging. Just, just jogging. Like, just, just going for an afternoon life. jog. Drunk hit her. Oh God. Life is so unfair, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, things just, you know. It's crazy. Mm-hmm. Fuck, man. Well, I'm glad yeah. you're okay. I'm actually looking at a picture of you in the hospital. Oh, really? Oh. It's on your mug. Oh, yeah. God, that sucks so bad. So bad. Yeah. So depressing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty depressing. It's horrible. Yeah. yeah. Don't do that again, please. Okay. Do you think, well, that this is drugs or mental illness? No. Oh. I've done my research. Nice. You visited me many a day, a night, an hour, a moment. I saw you. You're a dumbass. Okay. You're wearing reflectors, you retard. Yeah. Duh, don't You're worry. wearing reflectors, you idiot. So the thing is, yeah, is uh, apparently he's talking to Satan. Oh. That's okay. What's going on. So hold on. Drugs or mental illness. Let's go down the. So he's talking to the devil. Yeah. Now I'm going to go. I lean towards drugs because he's got the lighter. Yeah. The lighters. Yeah. Right. It's like yeah. there's what else is he lighting up? And also it's dark in there. Usually drugs are. May I say something? Yeah. Maybe the lighter is to see better. Oh, right. Because it is very dark in there. Okay. Also, there's a TV on. Oh, that's that's mental illness. That's, it seems well, sometimes. Here, here's another clue. Nice job wearing all black. Oh. Your sneakers, I could see 10 friggin' miles away. Oh. Hey, retard. <laughs> <sighs> You're lucky I'm only me. Yep. I'm serious. I've got magnification powers, the likes of which you would not believe. What powers does he have? Um, I don't know. I missed that little part. Did you catch that? Magnification powers. Ah. <laughs> not believe. The likes of which magnification power. Oh. I've got uh. magnification powers. The likes of which you would not believe. <laughs> Yeah. Satan the retard. Yeah. Yeah. You're wearing reflectors, you retard. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, that's the whole clip, and it really does make you wonder, <laughs> is this drug or mental illness? Right. Yeah. Yeah. What do you feel? I mean, intuitively. Um, after watching the whole thing, yeah. you know, there's paranoia. Yeah. But paranoia can be... Um, a result of drugs. your mental illness and it can also be a result of of drugs yeah the lighter i des definitely has me leaning more drugs yeah um you know if I, if, if i gotta guess i'm going drugs i think interesting yeah tom i'm gonna do something new here yeah i'm gonna go with both drugs and mental didn't illness. know that was an option <laughs> didn't know that was an option and i'd like to step back for a moment it's an either or scenario. It has to be either or. Not well, I both. thought that's how the game was played. I know we're changing the rules of the game. Yeah. But I'm the creator of the game. I can do that's that. right. You're like the god of sex. We learn this. Right. I'm god the third horseman the of the rules. apocalypse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Also known as. <laughs> AKA. Is AKA. AKA. I, I'm gonna lean more towards, more towards drugs on this one, or maybe. I mean, it's the dark. Usually we don't see the mentally ill in the dark. They like to be out there and doing their crazy stuff. But he's doing yeah. darkness, so it's a different look. Yeah. I'm going to lean towards drugs on this. Okay. Um, yeah, final answer. Drugs. And uh, what is the answer? <laughs> 
Do we know? I I think mental illness, but probably a mixture of both. Yeah. I mean, it's both. Let's be real. But yeah. Okay, I guess we'll just start playing a new game then. <laughs> Guys, it's drugs or mental illness. Yeah. Not both. It's, you know, it's like tic tac toe. It's that you don't just be like, well, it's an X and an O. You know, you pick one. God, you're so binary. Yeah. The yeah. world isn't binary anymore. <laughs> You can yeah. be both. You can be all at once. Keeping Duh. it in the vein. Duh. <sighs> <laughs> Chirp. Oh, we heard the, the fire. You must be the devil. <laughs> yes. I am Satan. <laughs> oh, boy. And why do you bring me here? So here's my question. Yeah. Would this be your like biggest nightmare to wake up like <laughs> in a room where this guy's standing over you? Yeah. I mean, absolutely. Isn't that the guy from Kiss? Like, isn't well, that just the Kiss makeup? Guy? It is that makeup. I don't think that's actually him. I don't think that's Gene Simmons. <laughs> I'd be like, Paul holy Stanley. shit. Yeah. Gene Simmons is in my house or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Um, look. Yeah, this is probably the most terrifying thing I've ever seen on TikTok. <laughs> like, and that's, I le- that's saying something. Yeah, and yeah. I, le- I legitimately, as I was watching this, had to stop myself from going into the abyss of sadness and scariness, you know? Like, I watched it, and I was like, oh, don't go, don't but be afraid, it's just TikTok. Talk like, me through it. Well, I had to, I had to like, so the beginning, I was like, oh, look, it's the guy from Kiss, ha ha, LOL, and then there's Duncan Trussell's old puppet, LOL. But then it got uh, real hobo, dark. hobo, right? His hobo yeah, puppet? Yeah, little hobo. Hobo. But then now I and then I got and then I got really scared because his, his voice got deepened and it got slower. It was really good. Yeah. Let's see if it gets scarier. Fuck. Yeah, dude. You've been sinning. Uh oh. Sinning? Oh boy. I don't like it. Yes. Masturbating. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Bingo. Nah, he's like, he's scary as fuck, though, this guy. But when it comes to dick joke, you know, took no, me out of the fear. No, but that could also be like the, um, you know, playing the role of like a, an overseer, like a priest. You've been masturbating. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's good. And you shouldn't touch yourself. Yeah. I don't know. Does yeah. he post stuff like this all the time or is this like his one-off? He does. Um, not all of them are in the mask, though. Usually it's maskless. Is it always scary? Like not always. Oh, okay. All right. I'm not, I'm not, I'm gonna, I'm not a fan. I mean, I like goth things, obviously, but this really scared me. I felt scared inside. I didn't yeah. like it. I see, like, this, if you were weighing the two, is mental illness. Yeah. If this were, like, a real thing. And not the fun kind. Right. Not the fun kind that we saw in the video before, where he's like, oh, Satan's a retard. This one's just, real. I just saw uh, a mentally ill person on the street. You did? Yeah. Sweet. It's good to be back in Cali, huh? Yeah. She was kicking the pole, screaming <laughs> uh, racial slurs. Cool. It was pretty cool. Yeah. Hey, turns out it's a pretty cool neighborhood. It turns out this is a pretty cool place to live. Um, <laughs> then she spit in the direction. Like, was, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Welcome back. It yeah. does make you, uh, yeah, reminisce. It sure does. It's cool. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice things in this neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> Masturbating. Yeah. Oh, I don't like it. Yeah, see? It's kind of scary. I don't like it. I don't like these ventriloquist dummies either. No. They're so spooky. They are spooky. Yeah. It really it most, makes... Most people don't like clowns either. That's like a big phobia. Yeah. They're just spooky. John Wayne Gacy. Yeah. But he chose to play a clown because it gives you access to children, right? Well, he, he was jovial. He, he's just like, had a good time. He liked, he liked... Hi. He did like spreading... Like, you can't just... Label the God. guy as one thing, you know. I know. He was a fun guy. So like, you're saying that John Wayne Gacy dressed up as a clown for fun times? Yeah, he to liked to make kids laugh. Yeah, LOL. and like yeah. he did, he threw parties a lot. He liked to have a good time. Yeah. He just had, you know, he had a door, let's say, in his head that wasn't so nice. Yeah. You know. I got was, you. Yeah. I mean, I think when you watch the documentary, you're like, all right, not the worst guy, but. You know, he is a really good clown, though. I mean, he, I yeah. thought it was just a bullshit. So, so was he? He would play a clown at children's parties. Like you could hire this guy. Is uh, that the story? He, I, th- I feel like I, I'm forgetting that part of it. That he would just do this a lot for fun. You know, just for like the neighborhood. Yeah, it kids. wasn't like you have to pay him to do it. It's you know? wild, dude. Yeah, yeah. Who knew the clown 
was a murderer. Yeah. The sad clown. He had bodies. Okay. Like really a lot of bodies. 33 confirmed. In his house, right? Yeah, well, like no, uh, uh, I think 29 or 30 were in the house. How did then, he stash him in the house without it stinking up the whole neighborhood? Well, that is the giveaway of how this is like the fun thing about narcissism. He, <laughs> okay, so he had a crawl space right. under the house, right? And he would put uh, bodies down there, okay? Sure. He'd stuff them in, like cram them in, okay? The cops suspected him. After this, the last kid went missing. Kid meaning is like a 16, 17 year old kid. So, they, you know, everything was like tied to him, but they didn't have physical evidence. Well, they did do a search at one point of his house that didn't reveal anything. So, by the law standards, you know, a warrant's already been executed. They've searched the house and they're like, we didn't find anything. Nothing at least to tie him to these murders even though he had just murdered that guy upstairs, the body was like in the house. Ugh. Well, they started to tail him 24 seven, but they did a type of tail where they, they let him know, like there's a surveillance where we're trying to not let you know we're following you. And there's surveillance where like, we let you know all the time. So the pressure of that can get to you. Well, he's such a narcissist that he would at times in like hang out with them. So if he was at a diner, He'd be like, hey, come here and sit down and talk. So one time they follow him home, right? And he invites them in. This is just for his own game and amusement of like, I can, here's how advanced I am at this. I'll bring the cops in the house. Oh boy. Well, while they're in the house, one of the cops wants to get away to look for things. And so the other, other one's keeping them occupied. Well, that cop to try to cover the fact that he's looking for things at one point dips into the bathroom. When he dips into the bathroom without any plan for this, obviously it's Chicago. It's winter. The heat kicks on. No. When the heat kicks on through the vent, that cop in the bathroom goes, that is a, that's a decomposing body. He's, he's familiar with the smell. Yeah. The smell you only know if you've been around it. So then they have to convince the judge to do a second search warrant, which like the judge is against. He's like, you've already, we've already executed a search warrant, but they're able to convince them to do that second search warrant. And that's when they go into the crawl space and they start just pulling out bodies. Pretty cool stuff. I love how you recall that story in great detail. Like, do you remember the birth of your two children with Who? that much detail? Which one? Any of them. Or like our wedding day or how we met. Uh, Ellis was born in uh, December. December what? I don't know. The Christmas month. And then the other one, I think in the summer. Oh my God. I mean, watching you recall the John Wayne Gacy story of how they found the bodies, it yeah. was like, first of all, you've never been so engaged and so lit up from the inside. Did you not feel like you learned something from what I just said? Def definitely, yeah. What was weird about it? I told you a story. <laughs> yeah, it's just not a very pleasant one, babe. It's like... I don't know. I don't really, I don't like it's stuff. I don't want to know. In the world. You know what? I don't you brought know. up clowns. I mean, I don't fucking, know. you know, cool. Thanks for sharing Tom. Thanks for playing this clip. Now, here's Thanks the thing about, weird, I'll creepy. tell you about Bundy Bundy. Oh my God. He did things backwards. What do you mean? Well, most killers that rape like to rape and then kill. Right. But Bundy was different. Yeah. He would kill. Okay. And then rape. Okay. Thanks, Tom. Can we like watch a clip <laughs> or is there somebody that's getting injured? We can go to that. <laughs> uh, you know what? Let's take a quick break and uh, we'll be back in a moment with our guests. Okay. Ordering all your summer essentials with Dash Pass by DoorDash is a great way to get everything you need. And during the summer of Dash Pass, you can save money and access members-only offers that will help you feel easy and breezy all summer long. I love 
uh, the Dash Pass by DoorDash, because goodness knows we use this app every single day at the Segura home. And it's just so much easy to save money during the summer of Dash Pass from DoorDash with zero dollar delivery fees, exclusive items, and more than 25,000 members only offers nationwide. Dash Pass by DoorDash has everything you need to make your summer memorable. You get all these special offers and, and they the different items dropping every week, everything you need to make the most of uh, summer. Shine bright during DoorDash's summer of Dash Pass and get 50% off your first order up to $15 value. Use promo code YMH at checkout when you spend $12 or more. That's 50% off your first order up to $15 value when you sign up for DoorDash during summer of Dash Pass using promo code YMH. Don't forget, that's code YMH for 50% off your first order up to $15 value. Here's a question. Is there anything that matters more than the safety of you and your loved ones? Of course not. So isn't it strange then that many home security companies don't act that way? This is why we use and trust Simply Safe Home Security. Their advanced security technology helps keep us safe at night, and they always put me and my family first. Here's why we have it. We use it here at the office. The guys love it. Some of them use it at home. They have 24-7 professional monitoring. Simply Safe's agents call you the moment a threat is detected and dispatch police or first responders in an emergency, even if you're not home or can't be reached. Simply Safe's customer first policies make sure you're taken care of with affordable plans starting at less than a dollar a day and no long-term contract or hidden fees. Customize the perfect system for your home in just a few minutes at simplysafe.com slash your mom. Go today and claim a free indoor security camera plus 20% off with interactive monitoring. Go to simplysafe.com slash your mom. Bobby, who hasn't had uh, stuff in their lives? Drama. We've all had, we've all been there. Yeah. So no, no judgment, nothing. You just want to be respectful. And, and in honor of you, we ordered Korean food for lunch before you got here. And in honor of your podcast, we had tuna belly also. <laughs> oh, nice. Uh, toro, as it's known in your community. <laughs> yeah. um, it's a Japanese thing, but it's fine. You know, it's adjacent. And I, I you know, I, I respect that. And thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. You're yeah, welcome. Yeah. yeah. You uh, came to the, uh, the uh, party that Christina had. My birthday party. And um, Do you remember that? I, had a blast. Oh. Happy remember, birthday. Do you remember how out of my way I went to try to introduce you to somebody and how you reacted? Okay, okay, okay. all right. Can I just ask you this something, right? Yeah, sure. I come to the party and I'm with an Asian guy. So I bring my own Asian right. who, who, who happens to be Big time. A producer. He's, I, he's I didn't A-list. authorize that on the guest list, by the yeah. way. I don't know how you got that in. But do I get a plus one or no? Well, Kalila, uh, you were my plus one. Oh, so I didn't you get didn't a plus one. You didn't even get an official invite. You were my plus one. To yeah. The party. So, like, I don't know how you got in and this other Asian. I didn't authorize. But, let's, uh, two but I had a Jew too. I had a Jew too. So the Jew can't come. Well, let's I go. didn't authorize it. Let's go back. So you, you and two other undesirable sneak in, and then what happens? <laughs> oh, really? Undesirable? <laughs> really? I have a guy, a Korean, yes. right? Yes. Who's an executive producer on a real no, TV I know, show? I know. He's and legit, David King. I know. It's legit, right. Yes. They're legit, legit minorities. Jew, Yes, legit Korean. I remember. Yeah, okay. I mean, ugly, both of them. But I didn't know that it was a fashion contest or a good looking. It contest. was not. It yeah, was and then not. you had that big muscle head there, so that's like that. You brought your own thing. Okay, Joe Rogan. Right, he was there. Yeah. Right, and he gave me a bruise on my face and went after he kissed me. Anyway, um, my point, my point is, is this. So what? What's the question? I was just saying that I went out of my way to introduce you to somebody. Okay, so I go to your fucking party, right? right. It was her party. It's my party. It was her to party. To be clear, I yes. organize it. I invited Kalila. Yeah. Um, and Tom. And, and then okay. you showed up. <laughs> All right. Can I be honest with you? Yeah. Yeah. When I went to the door, when I went to the door to the party, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. They go, whoa, whoa, whoa. You know how they do it? Yeah. And I go, we mean, whoa, 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 dude. I know the lady. Yeah. yeah. Right? And you're also like, here's my pass. I'm Bobby Lee. Yeah. Well, that's what, you know what I mean? He was like, ah, shit, dog. Yeah, yeah. you. Yeah. 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 And I got an ugly Jew and ugly Korean with me, too. And like, I don't know. Yeah. And that, right? And I go, they said, okay. Yeah. And so they let me in. I lied. Okay. I apologize. Hey, fuck you. Uh, uh, happy birthday. He's all over the map. Happy, yes. bir- happy birthday. Bobby's emo- is this an emotional Bobby? Is this emotional Bobby? Oh, this is Bobby medicated. Yeah. Yeah. He's on meds now. I thought that, Good. you know, t- today's showing might be more positive than it's turning out to uh, so, be. So sorry, babe. <laughs> so I'm sorry. You're right. 
Because <laughs> he, he comes confrontational. I did not and come confrontational. Because I go to the party and he go and he, so I'm with my friends and he goes, I want you to introduce you to somebody. Uh, uh, and I think, oh, he's going to introduce me to like a producer or someone important. Right. And he starts introducing me to just people that work there that happen to be Asian. <laughs> just try to start a friendship. <laughs> he did? Well, yeah. I mean, yeah, like the bus boy. He's like, come here, come here. <laughs> and, and, and he goes to the bus boy and goes, this is my Asian friend. I want you guys to meet. And I'm standing there going, hi. Because, you know, I'm like, hi. And they're yeah. like, and the guy's like, I'm Toko. And, and I'm like, hi, Toko. <laughs> and then Tom's like, see, isn't it good? Right? And it's like, you didn't introduce me to anybody else. And then we went around the corner, and there was a group of Asians, like maybe two or three. Yeah. And you kind of pushed me toward them and just <laughs> just hang out with them. <laughs> like, I brought my own. But you're acting like I didn't invite any other Asian. Ali but, Wong, you didn't see Ali Wong. She was there. But she really Asian. I mean. I mean. Is she not Asian? You're doubting her Asian? No, 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 no. no. I'm, not, I'm just saying, though. She's a fancy Asian, and oh, I, you yeah. know what I mean. I, I don't hang out with fancy Asians. She's a top tier Asian, for top sure. Top tier, mm-hmm. yeah. She's the top, yeah, the very top, yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't do that. But I just wanted you. Her, to look- Ronnie Chang, if they were there, I don't even look at them. Really? No, I'm bottom. <laughs> I don't see that I at don't all. Think you're no, bottom. I'm a dirty though. Why are you a dirty? I'm a dirty bottom. But you. <laughs> I'm a dirty bottom. Why are you dirty? Because of my nature of how I do my comedy. Mm-hmm. It's nasty. Yeah. You know what I mean? My, the way I dress. That's why I love it, though. Yeah, me too. Yeah, You're how, funny. Thank you. Um, I don't, you know what I mean? I'm not cleanly. Yeah. This, no cleanliness. Yeah. I don't eat good. These are people that go to like Sakara. Is that the brand that we sponsor on? Oh, right, yeah, right. Sakara, that, the wellness. The wellness. Yeah. You know, they, they sure. get, yeah. You know what I mean? They get nice food inside them. They do. But will you acknowledge that it was thoughtful that I was introducing you to these people? No, you, yeah. Okay, thanks. It's Wait, thoughtful. And by Thank the you. way. Racist, so, but thoughtful. So, it was not racist. So yeah, hold yeah. on. I'm on the dance floor. We're all dancing. The right. girl having a great time. And the manager walks up to me with a box of greasy Chinese food and goes, <laughs> oh, Christina, did you order this? And I go, I certainly did not. And I'm like, did anybody order Chinese food? Anybody order Chinese food? And then, and then it's like, oh, it's Bobby Lee's. He orders Chinese food to be delivered to be delivered to the, my I swear party. To that you are a bottom, dirty, <laughs> okay. dirty bottom. How are you eating? It was like a, it was a cool club. There was like break dancers and everybody's dressed cool. And you're eating dirty Chinese food there. Uh, no, that's impossible. That would be absolutely impossible. So because you're I, saying that's not that didn't happen. Yeah, I'm telling. I'm refuting that because okay. I'm going to tell you why. Okay. And just think about this. Okay. In your little minds. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry for attacking you in that way, but right now you're acting like you have little minds. Okay. Well, wow, because we're white. Yeah. <laughs> Our little white brains. Your little white brains. Dude. Yeah. You guys are good though. You guys invented electricity. Thank you. <laughs> that Thank is you. Cool. I wouldn't be able to turn on my PlayStation without. That's true. <laughs> All right. So um. What I'm ask, saying is that li- listen to your little mind, li- listen to the logic, okay? I'm going to ask you guys a question. Okay. How long do you think I was there for? Were you, are you doing an accent? <laughs> yeah, that, that's only how long. <laughs> yeah, how, guys, how long do you think I was there? What, what was that? I know. It's so unbelievable what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> and she I, heard I, it too. I, I'm really going to yeah, say it. She heard it. Yeah. I don't know what she's doing, right? She, you know what okay, she does? Here's what when you just throw fancy whites, Here, she sides with the whites every time. Here's what you just you know did. What? And she's one of those minorities. Said, I'm not. I'm against you it. You said, does this make any sense to you? <laughs> fancy whites. How long was I there for? That's what Can you I just did. Can I say it again? Did. Okay. Right. Play the How tape long? Back. Yeah. That's right. Okay. How long? Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How long? How long have I been there for? Okay. Not long. Which is what I thought what, what made sense is you were like, I'm going to this thing. I'm hungry. I'll have food delivered when I get there. It was yeah. an insane thing. But I still thought that checks out. You okay. Know? It's so also insane. I have proof of this, okay. right? Yeah. You ding dong. Okay. I love you though. Okay. Um, is is that I was there really short because I saw the fancy briefly. Asian. Yes. Briefly, I mean. Yes. I saw the fancy Asian there with the, with the glasses, the the, the Netflix. Uh, yeah. The Netflix one. Yes. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. And Allie. then I saw a thick head. Yeah. You know. God. And I introduced you to that the dancer. captain, the I, captain of the ship. I introduced captain you. Captain Thickhead. I introduced you. To the, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Introduced you to the Japanese dancer. 
That was cool. Then you did yeah. the Japanese tour where I would meet all the Asians that happened to be there. Yeah. Right? I did that. Like, here's new friends. Okay. Yeah, right. Yeah, and yeah. then <laughs> I fucking left, right? Yeah. So how, when did I have time to order fucking Chinese you food? You left before it arrived. I think you got impatient because you were hungry and we were in Koreatown anyway. So yeah. you were like... All your tingles I, went off like Koreatown. Yeah. Koreatown. yeah. All these places are open. Sundo BCD, Bo- Bo- Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And you said, here's how I can refute what you're wrong. Okay. You said Chinese food. We're in Koreatown. Ah, he got you. <laughs> so what Chinese restaurant is in Koreatown that I ordered from? There's like tons, dude. Name me one. Yeah, it was close to downtown. The one in Olympic. I know, but they don't Damn. know that. <laughs> but they don't know that. They don't know. Okay, Empress Pavilion in downtown. <laughs> yeah, all right. Okay. I didn't do that. But you know, if you think that was me, I apologize. It's cool. All right. So the party was great. Thanks for inviting me. Mm. You know, I you, had te- you came in, for five seconds. You yeah. technically weren't invited, though, just to be clear. <laughs> I was invited. I would have invited you. That's why I don't go. Did you go to Kreischer's? That's uh, why I don't go to parties. Did you go to Kreischer's July 4th party? His barbecue? <laughs> no, he didn't get invited that one either. <laughs> didn't get invited. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> That's who you are, man. <laughs> That's not even funny, dude. I wasn't invited either. I wasn't invited either. Yeah, I wasn't invited either. Yeah. What the fuck? Have you been invited? I was not invited. Ever to any of his parties? Be in, honest. In, okay, in years, no. But you have at one time. I mean, honest. we're talking the last time that guy invited, and I'm talking about when I lived here. The last time he invited me to a party was probably like five years ago or six years ago or something. Yeah. But you had been. I mean, like I said, it's been years. years. I've never been invited. Not one fucking time. To man. a uh, Art Crystal party? Yeah. I wasn't invited to your birthday party. I wasn't invited to any of his I parties. I like Kalila. Thank you. Well, Leanne invites me to her ornament exchange party there you every go. year, and that's neat. I'm but, always upset when I can't make it to that. Well, it's girls um, only. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he doesn't invite us to anything. This is so messed up. So why don't you guys um, admit that you were wrong for moving to Austin? <laughs> and I want to hear that. I want to hear, because I know, let me just say something, okay? I know you regret the decision. I know it was a foolish mistake, right? Yeah. You guys keep coming back. You're doing your little parties and like, oh, no, we're just here in town. We're catching up. Yeah. You know what I mean? Whatever, whatever. Right. But yeah. basically what at the end of the day is you fucked up. <laughs> and I would love to hear an open, you know what I mean? Acknowledgement. And it's, you know what, guys? You two, I love you guys. Your family. It's okay to make a mistake. I made plenty. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? I bought a ticket for that Jurassic Park Moon Dominion. No good? No good. Made a mistake. <laughs> right. You went to Austin. So pretty, just admit it. It was a pretty big ticket. Um, no, I think we're fully invested in Austin, man. Like, we really are. We have a home. We have our whole staff move there. We have a studio. You know, we've, we really are committed to Austin. I really like it. Okay. I do like it there. Okay. You have to come but you can visit. Still, you can still like. I was just there last week. I called you. Oh, we're here. And yeah, fuck time. you for that, too, by the way. Excuse me. <laughs> I said you're in no, Austin. No, no, fuck you for that right, right now, I'm going to tell you. Fuck for you what? for that. For what? I just remember. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, wow. yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. Can yeah, I tell I, you? Can I tell you what happened? Yeah. I go. You're in Austin because I I saw him post like I'm sorry I had a bad show or some crazy shit like that. Yeah. And so I go. You're in Austin, and he goes. Yeah. Dinner tonight. And I go. I have show. I have two shows tonight. Like that would be the dinner window, right? right. The first shows at seven and ten. I have two shows tonight. And he's like, okay. I'm like, all right. No, because- I can tell you why he's real salty about um this whole thing. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Is because he feels like he bombed, was it Saturday night or Friday, Friday, Friday night Friday. at a show? And then he runs into this girl right afterwards who's like, Oh, how'd you do? And he was like, Oh, I bombed. That, no, that's a, she so I I'm at CVS and I have Epsom salt. Like bags of Epsom salt. To soothe For the his, bombing. Yeah. 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 That's what I do. And yeah. I'm walking around and I'm I'm I look upset. Sure. I, I'm, I'm, I'm on the verge of tears. It's a horrible feeling. It was terrible. Yeah. Go ahead. Wait, no, finish your story. No, no, yeah, no I just wanted to correct you on that. I had Epsom salt. Okay. Oh, right. That part, so okay. he was carrying part. Epsom salt. Yeah. Epsom salt. And, um, and a girl goes, oh, like, did you perform tonight? And he was like, yeah, I bombed. Real bad. Really bad. And she goes, oh, um, I just went to go see Tom Segura. And he crushed. <gasps> oh, okay. Oh. Well, here's the thing. You can't get mad at her for telling the truth. Like, I fucking murdered, dude. It was ACL. <laughs> and I fucking the Austin City Limits, like 2,600 people, wraparound theater. I did four shows there. Here's the thing. 
We all bomb, and it's the fucking worst. So nobody empathizes more mm. with another comedian and, than another comedian. And firstly, I, I don't believe when you say that you bombed. I, yeah. I really don't Where believe Where did you perform? That. At a theater. And yeah, I don't... You bombed at the theater? Or is you, it's a Bobby, like, you're getting in your head you're about... You're in your head. ...a moment that went sideways. You know, it's so funny. Okay. Life. <laughs> Life is a funny thing because it's like... You see reality, yeah. and you live reality, and you feel things. That's a human being, mm -hmm. right? And you experience life yeah. you know, in the moment yeah. as it is, yeah. right? And then you have some people telling you otherwise. Who's telling you Whoa. otherwise? Everyone in this room right now. Okay. I, I believe you bomb. Thank you. Okay. You do? Thank you so much. Because here's oh, yeah. the deal. I've seen him. I've seen you go up at the store. I've seen you for many, many years, and you're a skilled enough comedian. You've been doing this for how you many years? You can put your face down. 20, uh. 20 plus years. <laughs> I highly doubt that you ate a shit burger the okay. whole time. You mean to tell me the whole hour you just ate shit? Let me explain myself. Can't be. Okay. Can't may, be. May, may I explain myself? Please tell us. And I'm like, also, I can't have to get be. off the thing. Why I'm mad at you? Okay. Okay. So here's the deal. Okay. I don't call you. So the girl at CVS goes, "Oh, Tom Segura, he just fucking killed it." Which is not the response when I say that I bombed. I just, I'm sorry. That's know, just, not, no a, that's just that. not an organic response. Nobody wants to hear that. Right. So it like, shows you why people who don't work, like who don't do what we do, always say it. the wrong thing. They don't get it. They don't, get, they don't understand. They don't My understand. favorite is like, you'll sell out a venue and then the, the club manager, or the theater, whatever manager will be like, but you know who sold out two of these? Or four <laughs> I, and I like, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just sold out this big thing, and now you're telling me I'm not like I'm not good enough. I know, I know. It, cr it just kills it's always me. with Joe Coy with me. It's like oh, I'll sell yeah. out like, <sighs> oh, but he did 19 yeah. in a row yeah. like this, and now yeah. you're like, oh, That's cool. I should kill myself. Yeah. So yeah. let me just go back to you because I just I want to get this off my chest. Okay. So the lady says that right, and I go, okay, you know what? She doesn't know any better. I'm just gonna just go to my hotel room, right? And then you called me. Text. Oh, that's right. Yeah. You contacted me, right? And you go, you're in Austin, this and that, right? And then I called you, right? No. Oh, we never called each other? No, you just texted me It was me via back. text, yeah. right? But here's the thing, you're like, I go, well, what are you doing, right? And you go, oh, I got shows. And I, you know what that means to me? I have sold out gigantic shows. Yeah. This is and I'm very busy. Just let me finish what I'm about to say. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Yeah. All right? so, so I'm a friend who's in your town. Right, 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 right. right. Hurting. Okay. Right? And you're performing in Austin. I know that, right? Yes. You could have done this. You know what, dude? Take a, a, a Uber here and we'll just hang out in the green room. Something like that. Or hey, tomorrow. You know yeah. what I mean? What are you doing for lunch? Let me tell you. Let, let me finish. I'm not done. Also, how does he know you're hurting? Yeah. Because he read on the fucking tweet. I tweeted that uh, I had the worst set. Oh, okay. But it's a lot of responsibility on let Tom me, let to me, take care of yeah. your house. Yeah. Let me just jump ahead. Let me jump ahead. Problem. All let right. Me, let right. me jump ahead to something, though. <laughs> God. Why are you rolling your eyes? Therapy, hello. <laughs> all right, all right. Let me jump ahead to something, okay? okay? All right. Because, I mean, sometimes you just don't connect the dots. I remember that I was in the car, so I'm driving, which I shouldn't be. I look down, and you're like, dinner? I write back the thing that is natural for me, which is like, I have two tonight. Like, I have shows tonight. Okay. And I'm thinking that because you're in Austin, you have a show, too. Like, I don't go, do you have a show tonight? I'm just thinking... If you're in Austin the next day after your show, you have another show. That that was my thinking that you actually had another show, even though. Did you see any advertisement that Bobby Lee Wait, was performing? Wait, also you on? did have a show the next night. He's not I wrong. I didn't have a show the next. Yeah, night. but you had the the whole gaming thing that where you had to play video games and all of that. So technically, you had. I, I, oh, first of all, I didn't bomb. Oh my, oh my god. god. <laughs> all right. <laughs> just listen. listen. Just How listen. many people uh, are in your I body? Right I don't know. I don't just listen. No, just listen. <laughs> How many voices are in this I fucking no, head? No, I don't know. What happened was, so, I'm sorry. God, I need a nap. I'm, so, like, I'm so sorry. Kalila, how I'm, are you? I know. Well, that's why she broke up with me. Yeah. Anyway, let's move on. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let me just say this, okay? The poor girl's I, exhausted. I, <laughs> Light a candle I, for I thought me. that I bombed. I, this is the last I'm going to say. For the rest of the podcast, because gotcha. I've been talking a lot. Okay, sure. So let me just defend myself real quick. Okay. So after I was done, I what I did was I performed after twenty other comics in a theater. Uh, so it was like a showcasey thing, oh, and I was a sucks. guest star, right? Yeah. And so there were more alty, great comics, but more alty the atmosphere. And I'm more meat and potatoes, like punchline, rape joke, punchline, rape. Yeah, 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 and you know, queef, queef, you know what I mean? And I have like three queef jokes, and they were just kind of like taken aback but they still enjoyed it and the next day everyone you know because i would walk around they're like you killed it last night 
So in an alt room, right, maybe what I did was good. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. see, since I had club ears. Yes. You know how we have club yes. ears? hundred percent. Yeah. We have club ears. So that's so my bad. I didn't bomb. Okay. Right. So I overreacted. Mm-hmm. Yes, you did. And I'm so and I didn't want to I didn't want to be intrusive. And I love you guys. I love you. Can I ask you a favor? Okay. Can I ask you a favor? <laughs> did you eat the Epsom salt or did you put it? In- <laughs> <laughs> Can I ask you a favor? Yeah. Will you do a weekend with me? Oh, <gasps> Oh, I would love to. Aww. Were you for real? 100%. Are you kidding me? And you'll answer the phone, like you'll answer Dude, I'll promote. <laughs> and you don't have to even pay me that much. Just give me opening fee. Opening Dude, that would be a blast. What do I have to pay you? <sighs> per show. All right, so how many seats is it? I mean, they're different. I don't know. They're all different, you know? All right, so I, I mean, I probably, if I did, how many shows do you think I would do in a weekend? With me? Yeah. I think we might end up doing like... It's a lot, Bobby. Six, seven shows. You know, listen... Right. He yeah. lives on a bus. It's like different city every night. Airplane, bus, airplane, but like, he has a rough. It's not easy. I mean, I, I have Bobby Lee. Use, it's one I weekend. Could, I think you could use that, right? I would now. love to do it for yeah. fun. Yeah, but I can't do it for free. No, I'm not going to do use, it for free. I would probably. <laughs> I don't know what you're going to offer, but I'm going to just. I, I think the fair price. Yeah. If I'm thinking that you're doing theaters and stuff like yes. that, yes, I, I would probably ask for at least two grand per show. Yeah. Okay. That's is that a lot? I mean, I think it's reasonable. For, for an opener? I mean, I mean it's for a lot, an opener, it's, it's reasonable. It's pretty reasonable. Well, how much time is he doing, Tom? You're doing 20 a second? Yeah, 20, yeah. 20, so yeah. I think 2,500 bucks probably. Whoa, whoa you just raised <laughs> it. Raised I know, I just thought about it. But 2,500, uh, two grand. Okay. You're right. You know, I would do it for two grand, and everyone heard it first. And I would do 20 minutes. Yeah. And it'd be a good time for me to kind of try new stuff too as well. Mm-hmm. No. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> what? No. No. no, what do you mean? It means you swing the fucking hammer on these shows. You don't try I, new stuff. Yeah, these are big venues. Yeah. Like he's really successful. Uh, yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I want people that. to get the full Bobby Lee experience. I'll kill and no fucking Asian shit. Just go out. There. <laughs> no, just uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll be fun. It'll be fun. Yeah, yeah. Um, but you know, Bert offered me a bunch of stuff. Okay, and he never did it. What do you mean? I, I don't. How does he goes, that sound? Oh, I'm going to make this happen and make this happen. And it just I never. I called my agents and they go. He never called. So what I'm saying to you is, is that, um, is this something that's coming out of your butthole? Hold on. I'm, or is it real? I'm texting my tour manager right now. Wow. Mm-hmm. Hold on. Mm. Okay. Oh, wow. Butthole or not, there's follow there, through. There it goes. He's doing it. Yeah. And when is it? That's, that's going to be. asking. That's going to be another big that's thing. That's what I'm asking. Because I'm doing, um, I have, I'm busy too. Kalila, I would yeah. like to discuss Trash Tuesday with you. Yeah. Another go show I've yet to, uh, we're scheduling right, that right. one too. And I, it seems like you guys are doing really well. It's very yeah. successful. Congratulations. Thank you. It's what tough a to get a new back. podcast like, yeah. hitting. I think it's a, we were able to sort of capture lightning in a bottle a little bit. You it's know? amazing. We're three very, very different girls. And I mm-hmm. think it works out. It's you, amazing. Esther, and any. Yeah. yeah. Two yeah. normal ones, one not so normal. Anyway, go ahead. Uh, <laughs> who's, who's not I'm, so normal? I'm the not normal one. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what I was like, well, go ahead. Yeah. Puppy. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. All right, here. Let's let's switch it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> I've seen this one. <laughs> Stop, man. Stop. This is my most favorite video. I've watched this probably really? fifty times. Yes. What happened? I like I that. I think he's he, just trying to lift that TV. But he it, had so much belief in himself. That's he what did. I really like mm-hmm. about it. Yeah, I got this. Oh. <laughs> oh. Stop, man. Stop. Stop, dude. That means he's been saying, like, I got this shit, you know? Well, yeah. he went to go do it again. He did. And his buddy had to go, stop. You yeah. didn't do it the first time. It wasn't even close. I don't even think that was the first time. I think he's like, I got <laughs> this shit. It was shit. like the fifth yeah. time. Yeah, yeah. Well, it just folded in, yeah. in half. It really did. That last yeah. attempt. What's this? I don't know yet. Oh, this guy's robbing that person over there. See? Those right there? That's a robbery. Yeah, yeah, so I see it. He's robbing and then he's gonna run away with whatever he just stole. Uh huh. Oh, oh. oh shit. <laughs> yeah. Oh and then, shit. And then they get their stuff back. <laughs> I yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Now you know what I would do? Uh, I would take his shit. Yeah. Yeah. Because you know I mean? the hit idea. wasn't an, enough for me. I was recently Did robbed. Did he die? You were robbed? Uh, Where? Yeah. Um, 
all of my dive stuff was stolen. No wallet, oh, yeah. no money, no nothing. They broke the back windshield and they took all the dive stuff. But then I found it all. Well, I didn't. My friends of mine found it all on Craigslist. What? what? Yeah. These idiots didn't. Like They put all my dive stuff together. And Thousands of dollars of gear. Yeah. No. And, and um, the cops didn't want to get involved. And even though I had all this proof that, hey, this is mine. Like we filed a police report in very like full detail. And so um, I just bought it back for like 250 for everything. No. Oh. Yeah. You bought your own shit back? Yeah, but it was still cheaper than the sure. three grand I would have paid. Yeah, that's yeah. hilarious. So anyway, Here Austin's pretty great. Uh, mm -hmm. Where did it happen? <laughs> <laughs> in, in Hawaii. In LA. What is that? Happened that happened in Hawaii. That happened in Hawaii? Yeah. Oh. Now let me ask you this. Yeah. Was it locals? Uh, I don't know. Yeah. I'm not it, sure. It was, it was yeah. locals. I'm not sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Brown browns. Yeah, it was. Oh, was that racist? That seems racist. What are we called again there? Chronics. 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 They, they call them chronics there. Like the, 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 the high ones? Yeah, when they're when they use oh, or they're in the oh, encampments, yeah, 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 yeah. they call them the in yeah, they call them chronics. I was robbed once in South Africa. That yeah. So I was during two o'clock in the afternoon. Were you doing that for the festival? Yeah. I walked out of my hotel room, two guys tackle me. Jesus. One guy has no. his knee on my back, and the other guy is stealing my wallet and my Dang. Blackberry, right? Jayberg? Yeah. yeah. And I look to my left and I see Ian Bag and Orny Adams just watching it. Oh. <laughs> and I'm literally like, like this, help! And they're just watching it like that. Like, they're smiling? Wrong, they have a smile on their face? To me, in my, in, in my memory, it, it was like this. It was like this. It was like... Yeah. <laughs> and, and I was so infuriated. Did you guys talk about it? No, I, I haven't. I mean, I just, I think I talked to Ian Bag last night for the first time in like 12 years. Oh, wow. really? Sometimes I see him at the improv and I'll just kind of, hi, right? Yeah. But they, they really betrayed me. No, they're really nice guys, but I, I, I really was, I'm still kind of, I, I think, angry about it. Yeah, it sounds like you are. Yeah. yeah. Would you do that if I was being robbed across the street? I would leave it alone. I would let you get robbed. <laughs> <laughs> well, in Johannesburg? Or yeah, I mean, oh, right, 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 right. Yeah. It's a yeah. super violent city. I mean, it, also, I, I would be like, can we size up how many, like, what do they look like? How big are they? Are there weapons drawn? Like, yeah. you know, a lot of things going on through your head. Like, mm -hmm. if I saw a couple little dudes, I'd get involved. But if they were, like, big fucking guys, I'd be like, yeah, you know, he's got other stuff in his front pocket. Well, so how do you describe it to the police? It's like... What do they look like? And it's like two black guys. Yeah, you know what I mean. And there's like, well, you're in Africa. There's no. I, mean, I had to yeah. not know the details. Mm -hmm. Did you, you were, Did you do a sketch drawing? <laughs> no, no, I didn't do a no. sketch. No, no, no. Well, they can oh. be tall or short or fat. Have Never. you guys seen the um, sketch drawing of the BTK killer? <laughs> Of BTK. Can we get a picture of that sure. side by side with a picture of Bobby? You always, fucking bring this. <laughs> you, always bring, you always fucking bring this up, man. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> that is perfect. Wow. Yeah. That is perfect. And, they, and you're comfortable with Dennis Rader just rotting away in a prison somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> what, are you, so what are you implying? That... Maybe it's time to just spill it all out. <laughs> Why did you do it? I didn't do anything. And sure. that guy had it coming. Yeah. He did all that. He did all that. Yeah. yeah. Murdering. You want to know how he got no, caught? No, thanks. What? He's been talking about murders before you guys got here. I got a full dissertation on fucking the John Wayne Gacy before you got here. Isn't that, isn't there a new documentary? Oh, the girl shit, in the picture? Man. Uh, the documentary, I don't know is, uh, if it, but it's called. It's uh, not Netflix. the new, not the John Wayne Gacy one. But there's a new one that everyone's talking about. It's called The Girl in the Picture. The Girl in the Picture. And that everyone's sort I of like know. really. I'll be watching by. this evening. Uh, yeah. Is it a doc or is that like a scripted film? It's a. Oh uh, no, it's a documentary. Oh, it is. Yeah, and it's apparently very horrific. Uh, yeah, I, I just I've had enough of the murder stuff. I mean, I I, I get obsessed with it, you know. And but I, do you know how BTK was caught? How was he caught? It was really really startling i mean it just shows how checked out this guy was wait which one so, is btk the one that looks like you i know i i know <laughs> but what did he do though because I, I i get it mixed up he killed 10 11 people in uh kansas i think in topeka oh so this is the the whole storyline of mind um was it mind my hundred my hundred does yes uh like follows because like that program was started i mean before he yeah. actually got started but the way that he got caught is that he had been silent, didn't do anything for like over a decade. And then he started reaching out 
to the police again with a, like a taunting letter that let them know that this was definitely the guy. And then he asked them, he said, if I send you a floppy disk, will you be able to trace it and answer me in the public paper? Call me like Rod and, and let me know in the classifieds. So they just were like, well, they knew that they could trace it. Yeah. yeah. But what they did was they go, nope, we're all good. Like, go ahead. He believed it. So he, he sent it. a floppy disk as a test. He just wrote like oh, test. Yeah. And when they opened it, they traced it back to this church. Ooh. And in the church, they were able to look at the people who would profile match it and like the vehicle and all this stuff. And that's how they got him. He just sent them a fucking floppy disk. So he got sloppy with a floppy, basically. Sloppy with a floppy. Mom, yeah. what yeah. a dummy. Sloppy with the floppy. That's good. The technology. Yeah. yeah. They get you that every time. Yeah. Dumb, dumb. Maybe he was just ready. Yeah. You know, Maybe. to be found out about because Well, he also told them that he was gonna do it again in, in the in like the fall. He was oh. giving them like a little like I'm ready. What was his MO all, only women? No. No, he killed a whole family. Whoa. Yeah. 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 That's incredible. Yeah. yeah Good thanks. stuff. Good stuff. Do you have any other videos you can try? Yeah. So here's another one. <laughs> no, why did you do that? It's horrible. I know, it's ter- it is a terrible thing. I don't like hearing these things. Like, I don't need it. I don't need it. I have two I, little boys. You think I want to hear about uh, uh, serial killers uh, abducting children and raping? I don't need it. I don't want to hear it. Okay. Yeah, I but, Sammy, was... but can I just say this? But the, uh, but the odds of it, <sighs> but the odds of it happening to you is pretty slim, no? I don't know. You never fuck know. Fuck, dude. I but don't still, know. if you look at it, the odds are, you know. No, the odds are very like, low. Like last night, there was there was like 12 7-Elevens in the LA area. Three people died and there was robberies, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I go to 7-Eleven late, night, late at night all the time. Mm. But still, I'm not going to be that guy. I don't think, no? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. The odds? Yeah. Sketch-wise, it's up there, <laughs> the probability of you. But... I don't think you're going to do it. Twice. That's yeah. pretty amazing. How did you discover <laughs> that? Oh, uh, look at that. Skateboarding with a beer. Nice. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh. He oh. saved the beer. Hey. hey. Good man. That's called alcoholism. Yeah. 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 Like he cared everything about the beer and not his body. Yeah. This is how I almost lost both my nipples, actually. <laughs> Bombing a hill just like that. Really? Yeah, in San Diego. It almost took out both of my nipples. I was camping. You didn't know this about me? I got like road rash from like here to my toes. I had like oh. gravel in my hands. Is that why your nipples are purple? My nipples aren't purple. They're perfectly like pink. Purplish. You have not seen my body in a long time. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Bobby. That's true. Yeah, mm. but this was a, that, it looked exactly like that, except I didn't drink a beer right off there. When you guys found out that we broke up, how did you feel? Oh, it makes me sad. I hate when like comedy couples break up. I, I hate like when anything happens in the comedy community. That's a bummer. I take it very personally. Yeah. And I love you guys together, and I'm glad that you guys are still keeping the podcast going. Mm-hmm. I can't imagine. I, I can't. I mean, I, I imagine that's you're really to, hard. You're trying to kiss me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> do you do you, so? How do you? How are you working together? And are you Ooh, living how? together? What do you how? Are you still living together? Yeah, not only just living together, but nothing has changed. And every night we still watch the same shows together. We still sleep on the same bed. I don't know when that'll change, but I think that I'm... um, (laughs) I mean, for for me, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to be... I just want to be nice and and not so, you know, ampy and stuff. Yeah. I mean, so let me just get back into it in a a casual way. (laughs) You mean, for me, um, I'll just let you know that nothing's changed. Like, her and I... Um, for the last three years, and I'll just be honest with you, we, you know, we've been sleeping on the same bed together and watching the same shows and giggling. We do tickle fests and, you know, we tickle each other and, <laughs> you know, right, you know what I mean? And we play little games, like when I yawn, she puts her finger in my mouth. There's different fun games that we play like that, sure. right? We know fuck though. Yeah. That good. And I, I think it's my fault because I just, I don't know what it is. I just kind of lost interest, you know? And, you know, and also uh, a woman wants intimacy and then she, you know, I, I stopped wanting to get to know who she was and her dreams and her, her inside stuff. And that's the stuff that she lives for. That's who, that's her love language, you know? Right. right. I think that, you know how they say like five love languages? There's sure. this lady on TikTok. It's like my only reference at this point is everything TikTok. But she was basically like, I think there's a sixth love language and um, hers matches mine. Like, I like feeling like someone knows me, that I, I feel known or heard. And um, 
I'm still fully obsessed with who he is, but I don't think that um, in the last couple of years, like he's... No, I'm just, that's me listening. <laughs> um, yeah, that's my love life. I like, that's how I feel loved, I think, is to feel known, if that makes yeah, any sense. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, that's a and very I think basic I, human thing to be seen and understood and known. And That's my fault too, though. Like I've wrapped my entire life around like his existence and I've been very, like I'm obsessed with him. You know, so it's very exciting to put all of my eggs on the Bobby Lee basket and to always put my energy there that I think I just forgot about myself. And in turn, he forgot about me because how can he, you know, I didn't forget about you. No, I mean, like, you know, in a romantic way, all in all other regards, it works. Right. We're best friends. We have a great time together. There's still like a deep love there. But in a romantic way, like, I think that's what happened. Like, I wasn't taking care of myself. So. Yeah, like that makes We made sense. our relationship into public fodder and it was just like Yeah. We we revealed too much about our, ourselves and everyone knows, you know what I mean, about our intricacies and the little little things and Why did you reveal so much, you think? I don't know why. I know cuz I've never been in a situation like honestly, when we started doing the podcast together, uh, we I didn't we had no one listening. No one liked it. Mm-hmm. Right? I what 10 view, you know, mm-hmm. views or whatever. So I'm just mm-hmm. like We'll just say whatever. Yeah. You know what I mean? So we, I said, I made up stories. I, in podcasts, I just, what do I do? And we would come up, I would just talk about our lives in the most intimate way. And then over the time, people just started listening. You know what I mean? And then we became, we had fans and stuff. And then all of a sudden it was like, the genie was out of the bomb. We just, it was just kind of too late to become a different kind of podcast. So I just constantly just did just it. Just shared it. Like yeah. That. Mm-hmm. And it was just hard. I mean, I don't know how you guys do it, but you guys probably don't reveal intimate things about you guys and and, and personal mm-hmm. things. It's probably it's probably it's more calculated. Yeah. So yeah, not as much for sure. Not as much. Yeah. yeah. I mean, do you guys still cuddle and all that stuff? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when's the last time you had a cuddle session? So you ever see this? Uh, <laughs> no, no, oh, no. Could I do? I want to well, know for myself. I, just, I, wanna know I just want to know what's ask. going on here. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yep. Oh. Can you do that, Bobby? Did they teach you that growing up? <laughs> Asian guys? Can all Asian guys do this? I could probably do that. Yeah. Yeah. Let's try it out. All right. Oh my oh god. Oh my god. <laughs> People are walking by and shit. <sighs> oh. What are you guys doing here? Like, what? what is I know. I, I know what it is, and you're not gonna believe me. Okay. We're trying to um, <laughs> perpetuate a stereotype because the stereotype that we have small penises mm. isn't true. Mm. But these guys are trying to perpetuate it. Oh. Uh, they're trying to lower smaller their penises. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm. Because it's just like easier to become in a box. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Sure. Because my dick is like I have like you know medium dick energy. You know what I mean? It's like sure. You know, it's average. Right. Like if you and I compared. You know, if we got a rack, not that I've ever seen your penis, but if we did, we had a contest or something like that. Mm-hmm. You, you, you might give me, you may have an inch, probably using an inch, maybe an inch, inch and a half more. You okay. know what I mean? But it wouldn't be like, you, yeah. you wouldn't be shocked like, yeah. like, whoa, your Segura is killing it or whatever. Yeah, 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 sure. He's got a pretty good one. Mine's okay too, though. That's what I'm That's saying. What saying. I'm like, I'm not even, I'm, I just got to go on a limb <laughs> and say, mine's legit. Okay. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mine's like, like it would test better than his, I think, in a TV show. For TV shows? Oh yeah, if they had like a you know I me mean, a focus group, yeah, and they compared our erect penises, I would believe that mine would test better than. Why yours. would it test better? Yeah, why? It's but look, so... I'm cuter. I'm just I, I I'm cuter than you are, bro. You are cute. Yeah. You think uh, you're cute too? I'm not saying that you're not cute. Yeah. I'm just saying that you really think that you're cuter than I am. I just I didn't even say that. I just you know I just gave you that you're cute. I think you're cute too. I think yeah. he's domineering. I think. Tom Ooh. looks scarier than you. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I just think that your dick maybe looks a little scarier than mine, but still cute. So it would test as a scary but somewhat cute dick. It depends <laughs> on what show it was in. Yeah. 
You know what I mean? If it was on like an NCIS, yeah. any of those, yeah. it would probably test pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> but if yours is in like Malcolm in the Middle, it would just be like, oh, no, whatever. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or any like um, sitcom. Mine's very, a- it's just average. It's just an average penis. Yeah, mine too. That's, would yeah. you stop? Just give yourself credit. It's a great, it's yeah, a great yeah. it's it's av- Average is great. It's husband. Average day. is pretty good. Yeah. yeah. I'd you've never complained. You've never. Oh, it's you do? Above. Really? Yeah, it is. Oh, it's cool, fine. man. It's normal. It's normal. No, that's pretty cool. It dude. meets the American Medical Association <laughs> recommended. <laughs> it does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So. yeah. That's cool, dude. Okay. Well, yeah. yeah. Still what do you think is going on there? Well, this is not what I wanted to show you. It really is that I wanted to show you this. Okay, is it another Asian thing? Yeah. Oh. Um. I'm LOLing. My husband thinks it's hilarious. Oh, these guys aren't moving fast enough. Do you think he cares a lot? Oh, I'm right. not, not at all. I think he's happy. Oh, Nothing. bro. Is this your tribe of Asian? <laughs> Definitely. What kind of Asian is this? Well, don't get me in trouble. Do you know where this is? Can you Can you guess? Yeah, I could probably guess. I'll tell you because I know exactly. All what right, it is. so baby, you okay? We're both Asian, yeah. so let's play a game. Okay. Push yeah. pause. Yeah. Okay. Push okay. pause for a second. Okay. Dan, 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 let's let's do an introduction of this game. <laughs> what Asian tribe is this? <laughs> um, I'm going between, but I'm between um, Vietnamese and Chinese, but I'm going to go with Vietnamese. Okay. Oh. Okay. I'm going to go with Philippines. Oh, stupid! Oh. It's not. No. Wow. No. Are you stupid? <laughs> also, <laughs> there is a dead, I mean, kind of a pretty big hint. What? Well. Can, can, can I get another shot? Yeah. He'll just listen to his. He'll listen. <laughs> it's a word. Mm. I know what it is. Go ahead, got back. I already gave my guess. What was it? I said Vietnamese or Chinese, but I'm going to go with Vietnamese. Okay, can I say something? Yeah, yeah. Thailand. You're no, but the right letter. Ooh, Taiwan. That's correct. Mm. Yeah. yeah that's do I get better more? Do I win that? Or I no? mean, you, no, you lost. But you did give her a good hint. Da, 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 thanks da, for da, playing. Da, da, da. <laughs> that Asian is there more tribe? Asian? Yeah, yeah, more oh, Asian yeah. stuff? Yeah. yeah. This is fun doing the Asian tribe thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is... Uh, <laughs> I'm really kind bad of Asian. This, uh, <laughs> yeah. this folder is called For Bobby. Um, okay. <laughs> there we go. Can I just say, uh, before you go, oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love these. Me too. I'm always impressed mm-hmm. with what these chicks can do. Mm-hmm. Honestly, that looks that's like mine. Right. That looks just like mine. Yeah, that's it. Okay, a, okay. That's a prawn. It's a prawn? Was it alive? No, 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 no. No, but I'm built like a prawn. Like if we're just going to describe them, you know. <laughs> oh, you, that's what oh. you're saying? It's like a prawn? Yeah. Okay. You know what I always think, though, is how bomb that sauce is on that dish. Mm-hmm. Like, it's yeah. always the sauce that makes these seafood mukbangs or whatever yeah. mukbang. How do I say it? But it's always in the sauce. It's got to be killer. That's probably the, pretty good sauce. I love the Joe Duck um, videos. The ones oh, that look yeah. like the, the clam. The ones that look yes, like penises. I've seen those. Yeah, I like those, yeah. too. Yeah. What is that? Like, it's a clam. It's, it's a, a clam? Chuduck, yeah. And they do look like penises. Yeah, and they're always. delicious. Yeah? Yeah, they're really good. <laughs> That's Vietnamese. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, a lot of people don't know this. Her nails are too long for those chopsticks, huh? Oof. What is it? You want to know something crazy? Boston. <laughs> what is that though she's eating um it's a clam chowder in a bread bowl no it's alive those Look, are definitely those alive. Are silkworms yeah. yeah right uh is that what that is yeah. Yeah. some type of worm i know in china they eat silkworms i'm sorry yeah. korea when i was in korea they did. the sauce again i bet you you could fucking put yeah. sauce on anything and make it taste good. i think so um i absolutely that you know what? I'd, I'd probably try that. Yeah. Um, you would try that? Yeah. There's yeah. a few things I I wouldn't eat. I, I'd try. I'd eat everything. Really? Yeah, like, yeah. and everything, and even if something's alive, you don't, it doesn't throw you off at all? Mm, maybe like. Insects? 
Uh, yeah, the only thing I will need is probably like a live cockroach. Yeah, that'd be Ugh. gross. Yeah. Um, what about I like do. I heard that uh, like in Inuit, uh, you know, culture that the like I, the seals' eyeballs are like, throat, but it's considered yeah. an honor to be given them. I think eyeballs or anything brain matter is very creamy and delicious. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Way to go. Bobby's not agreeing with you, but no, I'm like a Morton's kind of a guy. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. I like to do the boa. Yeah. You know, I go to boa. I go to like Michelin kind of places. Yeah, sure. but Michelin. Morton's is not Michelin. I'm she's, just saying that's the bottom of the bottom of the steakhouse. I know, but that's the bottom. You know what I mean? What right. I'm just saying is, is that that's slumming it for you. Morton's. Yeah, I, like I couldn't. Is that make me fancy or no? Kind of fancy. Yeah, yeah, but I can't. Would you eat that? You wouldn't eat that. Um, I try it. I take a bite. Yeah, because yeah. again, it's the it's these Asian sauces are so goddamn yes. good <laughs> that they would mask. Well, they just order the sauce. That's what I'm saying. I put that on everything. Yeah, like, you can point put for Bobby. Or fucking point for anything. Bobby. Yeah, just order the fucking sauce. Just order the sauce. I'll take a, a gallon of the sauce. Uh, I would try it. What it's about, the, what about the wormy thing? No, fuck the wormy thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah but yeah. if all these people are eating it in this other country, it's got to. There's something to it. I know, yeah, but there's, can't a, be that there's a restaurant crazy. in China that only serves animal penis. Yeah, right. that's Lun Chow. Lun Chow's delicious. See? What, what's that's animal penis? It's like a bull dick. No, but they have a variety. You can get donkey. You can get marsupial. I mean, there's all kinds of varieties. Of, uh, it's a, just a, isn't a, it a muscle. Get. You know, it's just flesh. It's just another, you're right. It's just Would another. you eat the dick? Uh, if they told me what it was, I don't know, man. It would have to, I, I think the environment would have to encourage it. In other words, like, if we're all sitting around and you, you're like, it's good. And then you took it and you're like, it's, come on, take it. Like, but if you're just like, hey, you showed up. They're like, do you want to eat some dicks? I'm okay, let me, like, no. let me ask you this. We're, we're in China. We're in China, right? Yeah. And I go, there's two options. Dude. We have the animal penis restaurant. Mm -hmm. But I know a good animal pussy restaurant. <laughs> Would you go to the animal pussy or animal dick? Bro. <laughs> no, be honest with me. Be honest. And it's not being sexist. I'm just asking you. Which one would you eat at? You know, I'm going to munch that box with you all day. <laughs> Thank you so yes. much. Yeah, I'll make reservations because I'm not doing the animal day. Yeah. No. Yeah, yeah. I don't now, like tripe. I don't like the consistency. Deep us. I like deep yeah. Us, yeah, yeah. yeah. I like all entrails, I think. Really? I like chicken hearts and I like mm. chicken but, feet. <gasps> chicken feet. They call it Adidas in the Philippines. Oh. Adidas? Adidas, yeah. And then they call the chicken um, head Walkman. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. I got a response. Oh. From who? Table? For the tour, tour manager. Okay, what did they say? Okay, so the first like, like good string of dates. Yeah, would be in October. Mm. I know that's it's a little difficult. It is difficult, but let's see. It would be uh, a, a Canada run. I love Canada. Mm -hmm. We would do Kitchener, London, Ottawa, and Halifax. Wait, wait aren't we doing a gig in Canada? What? When? You and I are. What are you talking about? Are we doing a, a outdoor Winnipeg something? No, Edmonton. What is that? That's a festival. That's like, it's you know, a comedy a festival. Show. Yeah, but that's like Aww. one show. I'll see you there. I know. Okay. I'm asking you if you want to come on this one. <laughs> all right. Sorry, my bad. Uh, yeah. Oh, so is it? Uh, let me. Are they outdoor events? No, no. These are all. Okay, I'll do it. Indoor. He, yeah. And what are the dates? Uh, October 13th through the 16th. Yes, but we can we lock it in now because I'll I, lock it in now because I this is that's when I should um the and just like that I can't wait you were the brightest spot in and just like that and I have to say that you were the every time you came on it was like oh my god Bobby Lee and you were so bright and so good and oh, thank you really it was such a train wreck of a fucking series what they did with my <laughs> beloved character and I, but that being said I'm hopeful for season two and I'm thankful for season two but you absolutely killed it and you were a joy to watch thank you, you I have no job. idea what the hell is going on there I don't know what I'm playing I don't know what's going on Ooh, I've never I, seen the show so my point is is that I like doing it because I just know that um, you know everyone's nice and stuff and I just do it I have a theory yeah. on this sure. um, so years ago when Bobby was um, still an up and coming comic he was on set with Kim Cattrall, who You're gonna bring this up. who basically hurt his feelings really badly and who told him straight to his face, you're never going to make it. What? So basically, I think my theory is Bobby is the new Samantha. <gasps> that would be Is the this best. a version of you saying you bombed in Austin and then you're like, no, well, because I have backup. This really happened. I have backup. Can you tell me the story? Yeah, I'll tell you a story and I back up. So I, okay. I, I, I just don't, I don't even like the, the accusations. Of not, I, the direction you're going. I, 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 don't, like, I don't like it. Okay. I, I think was, it's offensive and I think that it's aggressive and I don't like it. Okay, I'm sorry for everything that I did. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But let I mean, me ask ridiculous. you. God, don't you believe Bobby? Okay, let me ask you. Um, <laughs> years ago, years ago. Okay. Uh, just quick, quick the story. Right? Yeah, quick. So years ago, um, I um, in the 90s, right, I auditioned for a 
a, a Pepsi commercial. Like as you do as a young guy, you probably audition for a bunch of shit. Dozens right? of them, right? Yes. So um, in this particular one, um, they were looking for a towel boy for this commercial. It was a Super Bowl commercial. Yeah. And I go and I audition, and then they couldn't choose between me or Eric Stone Street. Who? To be towel boy. You know um, Eric Stone Street. He plays Cam on uh, Modern Family. The big the gay guy. Big gay guy. Oh, yeah. Super funny. Kind of popular too. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but at that time, so weird that Christina doesn't know a pop culture reference. <laughs> <laughs> He's pretty huge. He's won a couple of an- Emmys. He's won oh, a couple I, of oh, Emmys. On. I'm sorry. I've only been raising our children. Oh, this is always the thing. Right. I don't know anything. Years. <laughs> six yeah. years of changing diapers okay. and wiping tushies. Okay. Don't have time to watch the Super Bowl. Okay. So anyway, anyway, keep going. Thank you. So back to story. Yeah. <laughs> right. So I. Um, so they. You know. So you know who's directing it? Yeah. Is Michael Bay. He's directing I the know, commercial. I know who that is. It's a famous uh, film director. Very good. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I was a huge Michael Bay Fay- Fay- fan. And anyway, this is the first I've ever had, really. Like one of the first ones. So I didn't know how to be on a set. I was so scared. You know how scared I get? Sure. I'm just a scared guy. You yeah. know what I mean? And at the time, I was so nervous. And you're just being towel boy, right? Yeah. And it was just me and Eric Stone Street being towel boys for Kim Cattrall. And she was in a bathtub. So there was a scene where I um, had to carry these 15 towels. It's a makeshift towel. It's a gag where I walk into a room and, she, you know what I mean? I'm trying to balance these towels, right? And as I walked in the room, Kim Cattrall's off to my right, and there was a light, and the towels were blocking the light, so I had to be walking in a specific angle sure. for the light to hit my face, right? And as every time I would walk in, Michael Bay would be like, No! Nope! You're, I can't see your face! <laughs> right? And I go, Oh, sorry, I'll stop over. Another Asian accent when yeah. I get nervous. Yeah, yeah. Right? So I would go back. Action. I would go in. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Right? Like, traumatic. Right? And I'm like Jesus. sweating. My face is sweating now. The, the eighth time God. in, this is what he does. Action. I do it right. God damn it! And he, and he comes up to me, right? I don't know why I'm standing. Yeah. Right? Sit back down because I can oh, hear it better. Okay. Why'd I do that? I don't know. But he comes up to you. Because I get so animated. I'm yeah, so, yeah. I apologize. Yeah. I'm so sorry for standing. That was ridiculous. <laughs> he comes up to me. He grabs my face. Right? And he goes, here! Here! Like that. Right? And I'm like, I'm sh- trembling. Because my dad used to beat me. <laughs> so, um, and it was like all that stuff was coming up. You know what I mean? And I just couldn't function. Like everything I did on the thing was wrong. Right? Yeah. And then on top of that, so now Kim Cattrall's in a bathtub, just like, <laughs> she's just sitting there just watching this kid just not be good, you know what I mean? Yeah. And so at the end of the night, I was just standing there with Eric, and you know, Eric has, and I are very good friends, and he's, I just, got, I just love the guy, and we're just standing there, and he, you know, he's one of those guys who's just like, come on, man, you're fine, everything's fine. I'm like, I don't know, dude, I'm out of the business. <laughs> you, know, just, you know, whatever yeah. your internal you know, dialogue is. And I can see Kim Cattrall walk up to us. And we're just standing there, and she goes up to Eric and goes, you can be a very big star. The Stone Street. And she walks up to me, and she goes, and she walks away. That's unnecessary. Yeah. Like, she walks away. Big way. It's and like it, very shaming. It's, it's like shaming someone for not knowing pop culture references after they've been raising yeah, children dude. for six years. Exactly, dude. It's ridiculous. That was heavy? That was heavy? So it was I, Bobby. It's, you're yeah. going to be successful in this business. And you? Christina, <laughs> let me tell you something. That was wrong that I did that. Thank you. <laughs> I shouldn't have shamed you for not knowing her. And also, can I just say something? You should cuddle. Thank you, Tom, for educating me. You're supposed to say yeah. that. You should. Thank you for educating. You should, should cuddle her more and stuff, and be more intimate, and just just hold her. Thanks. No, Tom, I mean, the cuddles is too hot for him in the summertime. Oh, I, get, I get wintertime cuddles. Okay, okay. But don't you think that's life picking up on that traumatic moment for him and yeah. then making him, putting him on um, a show where she's no longer a part of, but now yeah, he's a part of? That's, that's how true. show business karma works, my man. You think it's so? Called, I, Definitely. A hundred percent. It's showbiz karma. It's the person... I always loved the saying is be nice to everybody on your way up because you will see them again on your way down. Mm. Yeah. Because everybody's star inevitably wanes a little bit. And so this Kim Cattrall, this Kim Cattrall got her comeuppance because now you're going to take her And, place. you know, separate from your story, 
I mean, obviously that character, it was fantastic on Sex and the City. Uh, her character, Samantha. Sam, right? Uh, was, was that the name of her character? Yeah. yeah. She's fantastic. I mean, it's a Amazing. great, iconic character. But everybody for a while now that has worked on that show says negative things about her. Like, she's not a beloved person. Maybe. I don't know. No, it's it's well documented. Like they. Well, I know some things that I can't discuss. Of course. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. just by being there and sure. talking to some people. But it's like. I do have to admit that it is, I do kind of giggle to myself when I'm there on set and stuff with all the girls and stuff. And, yeah. and, and these are so iconic and they're so nice. Like Sarah Jessica Parker is like one of the nicest people. She's like, she'll text me and she's just like, how are you? I mean, she's just, I like, I, I have three lines and I thought, why would you even be, care? I should, interv I should invite her to my party next time. Mm -hmm. You should. Yeah. Could she should. be your plus one? <laughs> you know, I'll, I'll be honest with you. I probably will never go to your party again. Why not? It was so No, no, fun. I don't care because I, I just, it's just too many mistakes and too many things. And uh, yeah. You missed out on the karaoke. But I will do your show. And I just feel like you and I have a bond right now. Yeah. <laughs> and I really do. I feel like you and I have a bond right now. And I, I will do your show. Are and you, I'm going to kill for you. Are you going to agree to lock it in though? I or, will lock, you know what, but bro, I'm going to say something right now, dude. What? I, I will lock it at 100%. You know, I want Maverick it. You want Maverick? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna Maverick it. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna be the hero of the show. Okay. And I'm gonna and you know what they're gonna go? You know you know what the people are gonna say? What? People are gonna go, you know what, dude? I mean Tom Segura in itself was just amazing and it you know, I should I should have paid more money to come to the show, but that Bobby Lee too, it just it, what a magical night. That that would be lovely. And I'd I don't love wanna talk to, to you right now because you're right now you, Right now, right now, I don't know what you're trying to do, but you're being very nasty to do me. Do you wanna do more? Do you wanna do another weekend too? I would do whatever you want. Okay. All yeah, because right. I feel like you wanna have a strong bond. We go to China, go to the pussy fucking restaurant. Yep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you and I, right? We'll get, like, get I'm going to the dick eating. That's fine. Kalila and I, I are dick eating. Well, I'm going to gobble some dick. Share one blue whale pussy. We're going to get a blue, 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 blue whale pussy. Yeah. Do they eat it's, pussy? It's a lot of fun. And in like in Asia, it's interesting they would eat a dick. Did, have they eaten it in Philippines I, or China? I don't know. I just I've never heard of it. I've never heard of it either. What's uh, there to eat? It's like a hole. Yeah. How do you eat no, a hole? you dumb dumb. <laughs> There's an outside, I, I, the yeah, labia, it's like, it's the just this. flaps the, of meat. Bobby. It's like the artichoke. You know when you eat the artichoke? <laughs> I, got, I got something for you. Cover your genitals. Okay. Ready? Is that you, babe? No. Oh. Oof. <sighs> what do you think? <laughs> hmm. You'd never be into this. Oh, here we go. I like this part. Yeah. Oh, oh, no. Oh, oh, oh not that part. Hitting. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, not that part. No? <laughs> I don't think she has a good hitting technique. Mm -mm, I don't think so either. Well, yeah. she's trying to, like, not hurt him. Oh. It's the WWF hitting. She's, yeah. she's like, You're light, pulling back. Light. Oh, yeah. that I'm into. Yeah, like slap that. is fun. Slap, I think. Yeah, slap is pretty yeah. good. Oof. Oh, that's pretty hard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you did slubby once. Um, n very lightly. Yeah, but in yeah. In a sweet way. But you're I do a like very. Violence a little, a little. No, you're, you don't. You're a very gentle, gentle lover, I would say. Very gentle. I think I came don't on a little too hot. It's a good thing. Don't that's put not, that out there, though. It's such a good you thing. You see that every fucking puzzle, I'm a gentle lover. And just, it, when you put that out there, yeah. it makes me look like a fucking pussy. How? Like I'm just like gentle, like a uh, the guy that sings fire, fire and rain. What's his name? <laughs> Some oh, homo. John yeah. Denver. No, fire and rain. Oh, um, you got fire and rain. Um, What's fucking his name? um, Taylor. James Taylor. Ta James Taylor. Yes. Oh, yeah, like yeah. I fuck like him. How do you think John, um, James Taylor fucks? Gentle. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? And you're in there like a beast, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. No, I mean, that's, I'm not a beast, but I'm just saying I'm not like brushing. I'm more like, you know, like, you know, sometimes like Rembrandt, maybe, you know, he brushes, but I'm, I want to be more like Pollock. Yeah. You know, like, mm. you like that? Yeah. You don't like that. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That's not your style. That's not you. Don't lie. Don't say that. I don't. I, okay. Maybe. Okay. I just, I, when you, just, when you say it out there. That, be like honest. That, yeah, but that's the that's thing. what I it's love like, about you. Okay, how do I fuck then? Gentle? Like a very considerate. No, 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 so continue. You're not really into eating pussy that much, but... Um, I, I am. I love the pussy. But can I just put those, those out there? It's my number one thing. <laughs> it really is. It, it, stop fucking saying that shit because, you know, can I just be honest with you? Okay, I, I've eaten so much pussy and I've done so much good pussy work. I know, but there's... <laughs> I think 
like, okay, here, 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 I'll give you this. I think there, there are, I think you do a great job when you're finally down there, but I will say there are dudes who are just so hungry for eating pussy and other dudes who aren't necessarily like, you know, I'm 50. Yeah, yeah, Right? Yeah. When I was 20, Wait, saying, I was hungry for it. Are you it. saying one is better than the other? No, no, no. It's oh. just his. He doesn't have that natural. Like, some some dudes are just like, that's all they think about. Oh, my God. Right? I'm so El Natural, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm so like, that's like, I was born with a gift. Really? <laughs> dude, I love pussy. I just, I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, yeah. I'm not saying you don't love pussy. Some people just put it out there. That's what they want. Yeah. I'm a dirty <laughs> <laughs> I'm a shit pig. I'm a toilet. Yeah. I only deserve rape. Oh. Humiliation, dehumanization, okay. degradation. If you see me walking on the street, shout, Hey, shit pig. Oh. And I will come to you. I would love to. I will drink your piss, eat your shit, endure your verbal humiliation. <laughs> you can piss over me. You can shit over me. You can show your friends what a dirty, disgusting. I really am. <laughs> oh. His teeth are so white. They're so They're nice. So white, yeah. yeah. Beautiful teeth. Yeah. Yeah. White strips or something. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, it's like there was this one porn I watched one time. It's yeah. a series of porn, uh-huh. and I don't like it because it's got that kind of attitude in it. I like that either. I don't like the The, the porn's called Meat Holes. <laughs> Wait, no, that was a whole website. When, no, but there was like a, a v- DVD series called Meat Holes. Oh, okay. Yeah, Meat and, Holes. Yeah, and oh. it's and it was so it's just like that kind of. It I don't was like, like it. all gay. But the, no, the girls doing it. Like I'm a piece of on shit. Yeah, yeah. I'm, oh, I'm yeah. a whore. Spit in my face, and I was just like, "That doesn't really do it for me." It doesn't do it for me yeah. too. I just kind of, like, I mean, I jerked off to it, but I just after, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 You're just yeah. looking for the moments to get you. Yeah, there. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like his little um, baby mustache. That's not really oh, a mustache. Is that like, Those three hairs. The three hairs. Yeah. What happened to him though, as a kid? Do you think he yeah. had parents? Good things. This is a. This is a. Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. you think good things happened to him as a kid? Oh yeah. Yeah, this yeah. Nurturing. Yeah. If everything went yeah, really well. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. What? It's always interesting when they choose to make videos in the bathroom. It's such a funny choice. Cold this tile. Is, yeah. <laughs> like, really? Is the bathroom the best lit in most homes? I guess. Yeah. But yeah, but I the, generally don't choose the toilet. But not mm-hmm. everyone that had whatever his upbringing, yeah. right, does that. No. Some people like will go to a different direction. Like, you know, like her and I. Yeah. Like her and I are from real fucked up trauma, traumatic childhoods. And we decided to, like, let's just make the best of it. And let's go to therapy. Like, I see a therapist and a psychiatrist. But that's a positive way to, for it to go. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. You yeah. don't always have to do this. No, you don't. No. You, don't. you know what I mean? Don't do this. No. Yeah, yeah, Like, when you're thinking like this, do something. Else. You know, you got to get help. That guy needs help. Yeah, but he doesn't know it, probably. He's you know? he does, he, Yeah, somebody's got to tell him. You're not a pig. You're not a pig? And I'm no. not going to piss in your mouth. No. Yeah, I'm not going to, yeah. Yeah, well, I, I want to piss I'm in the I'm not going to say, hey, shitbag, when I see you on the street. <laughs> yeah, if I saw that guy, I would just say, what's up, man? Yeah, yeah. he I needs mean, that. Yeah, he not needs like, that. you know what I mean? And this comes full circle. This is why I introduced you to Asians at that party. Because <laughs> they could all use somebody to be like, hey, hey man, man, what's up, you know? Hey, you're not a shitbag. Yeah. You're just Asian. Like, you want me to say that to him or me? No, I wanted him, you to be the nice guy to the, to the people I was introducing <laughs> you to. Well, then why don't you tell me that? You, you should have said this. Pulled me aside and goes, hey, bud, I know it's going to sound weird, but, you know, there's a bunch of Asians there. Not a lot, but there's like five. Yeah. And I'm about to introduce you to all of them. Yeah. And at first I'd be like, Tom, you don't need to do that, right? Because I'm going to have to leave, right? Yeah. And you're like, no, but the reason why is because, you know, they're, they're like this guy. And, they, and they're like broken. They're all deeply traumatized. And I want you to in, 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 encourage them, right? Yeah. And I'd be like, you know what, dude? I'm going to do some service, right? Yeah. And that, in that way. But that's not what you did. You grabbed my hand and go, here, here's Tong Tong. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, but to be fair, one of them was super talented. Uh, that breakdown that breakdown was amazing. Japanese guy. He was, was amazing. really talented. I thought, I thought I was introducing you to your new best friend. Yeah. Like, he's so talented. Why don't you want to be friends yeah. with a cool breakdancer? You think yeah. you're too good for him or something? Because Owen oh, Bobby Lee. No, I don't have a lot of Asian friends. You're right. He was doing you a service. I was right about to say that. I think he read, Tom read into the fact that, like, I think you could use more Asian friends. I have one. That's it. Don't you want to up that number a little bit? How come? One's enough. (laughs) One Asian is enough? a self-hating Asian? No, not a self-hating Asian. No, look, can I just say something? Yeah. Any fucker, right, that has 30 good friends, it doesn't have a single good friend. That's true. Right? How many friends? Oh, that's true, that's true. Uh, Let me ask you something and be Mm -hmm. real and and to the audience, right? Right, right. How many friends do I have? Be be honest. Um, Guys I hang out with and guys I'm... um, Two. 
Yeah, that's because it's that's hard normal. to get in my circle. I believe that. I'm Bobby Lee, bitch. Right. I think I'm one of them. And then yeah, you are one of them. Okay. Let me just finish, all right? And okay. and when I say Bobby, I'm trying to motivate myself to be more confident in my life. And when I say I'm Bobby Lee, bitch, you did an eye thing. What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's so funny when I see you outside of this podcast. Mm. You and I are like brother, a two lo- long lost brothers and sisters that haven't seen each other. I mean, the way we hug. You're my. Oh my god. And we hug, and on here you're rolling your eyes and doing all these weird well, cause things. Because you have like non-sugar-free Red Bull energy right now. Like yeah. you need an exorcism also, or something. You're a little yeah. different with your new look. Yeah, I feel. Did, oh my, my yeah. look, my yeah. sassy. Yeah. Girl I was gonna say look. something. I, go, that, I thought that that was her real look. That he was oh no, this is something she's, well, she's, she's, she's taking new, it for a spin. Yeah, she's no, like, no, I'm it going. Is my new look. That's I what am, I'm saying. She's I'm going back to goth. Goth mom. That's yeah. who I am. Ah, that is so good. Thank I think post breakup, I think I need a new look, and I'm I'm shopping for one. Well, come on over. It's a short hour and a half in makeup. Can we do like? Can we throw it back to like chol, um, chola goth? Hell yeah, we can, dog. Okay, I would love to do a chola goth. Bobby, I am here for you. Why don't we go shopping together? I would love to go anywhere you want. You know what's my treat. Whatever you want, Daddy. What? <laughs> what? No, being real. Do you want to embrace? You want to go to Golden Goose? I'll get you Golden Goose shoes. Do you want to wow. go? Do you want to embrace a new look? I'll do anything you want me to do, baby. Okay. Jeez. And I'll, I'll wear the chains, and I'll walk around your house, and I'll bark. <laughs> I'll go. Dum, 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 Sakura. And I'll do whatever you want. Uh, what draws me to Kimmy's oh, play shit. is <laughs> I like the gear. I like the. Oh, that's cool. I, like I love the these guys. It just makes me feel like I am ten foot tall and bulletproof. I get this so it's much. Mm-hmm. I love dogs so much. Yeah. Oh. Not this part, but the other oh, stuff. Oh, let's have a look at the little hole there. Oh. I don't like. I don't like this bit. Oh, mm. oh. 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 that's oh. Cool. boy. Oh. Oh. Very bright. Is he? He's putting a tail on his butt. Oh, I thought he was like expressing his anal glands. Oh, right. right? That could be done too, but it's a tail. Close look at that little hole there. Oh, puppy, that's you. Rest your head on the bed there. Oh, all done. All done, puppy. Are you okay? Good puppy. This is what I want to do with you. Close that all for you. Up play. I was just kidding. Oh, I was always watching that. I was like, I was just totally kidding. I can totally see you doing this though. Really? Not you. I'm sorry, Bobby. Like I could see Bobby in this costume, the latex, mm-hmm. and then the head. Oh, you really do see me doing that? <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah. You see me just randomly I see being that. on a black ch- chair, like doing that. Why would I do that? Just giving it a whirl. Mm-hmm. You know, like I could see you being this open and like, yeah, I'll give it a try. You're like, I, I try, try things. Once. No, I yeah. would do. I would do it for a sketch. Yeah. If you taped it for a laugh, right? But I wouldn't do it for like a serious... Is that serious, a promise? Yeah, I would do it for fun to get a laugh, but I wouldn't do it as a serious... Stop, write that down. <laughs> you don't think I would do that? I would do it for a sketch. You wouldn't do that. You would let, I mean, you would let it get inserted for a sketch? What's it going mm-hmm. in the butt? Yeah. It's what just, is it? It's a, a tail, tail with like, you know, I mean, it's, it's meant for the butt. So it's designed... So it's a butt plug with yeah, a tail with attached a tail to it. it? It looks very... It's really cute. Will it, would it, will it be funny? Yes, it would be funny. Hilarious. So fuck cute. you, man. Anything for comedy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'll wear the thing. But can I be a different... I want. Can I design my own outfit? Okay. Not that I would care. Well, what kind of dog would you want to be? I want to be a cuter one. I don't mm-hmm. want to be a black one. Like you a Pekingese. Oh, I love well, it. You know, what's the Korean dog that we like? Or the Asian dog? Um, Jindo? Yeah, Jindo. Oh, no, Akita. No, I don't want to be Jindo. Or, uh, no, Shiba Inu is what you like. Oh, I love Shiba Inu. I want, Shiba I want to be Shiba Inu, so I want a lighter colored thing. Yeah. Right in the tail. And then um, who's the <laughs> other guy putting the thing in? Uh, that's me. <laughs> uh, that would be me. <laughs> yeah. What kind of dog are you, Tom? <laughs> I think I would be a pug. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. But we do it for comedy, right? A hundred percent. Right. It's not serial. No, no, no. And we'd be right. laughing the whole time. Right, but you're yeah. not there's no sexual connotation or no, attachment. Does this seem sexual? It does. Oh. Well, no, for us it wouldn't be. All right, right. so we'd be giggling. We'd be laughing. Then I'd you have like, a deal. So I, I get that opening weekend, mm-hmm. right? And we do this. Yep. Simultaneously? We could that's f- what's happening in Canada. I think we probably fill they, they, they seem Canadian, Canadian right? right. They're, yeah. Australian. they're from oh, New they Zealand. I think they're Kiwis, oh, right? Zealand. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're mm-hmm. touring there too eventually. Uh, in January, we could meet them. Oh, perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
All right, what is what is going on? What is this guy saying? Hey, I'm at the Speedway fishing, and y'all ain't never seen shit like this before, okay? Here, it's some black folks with goddamn serious talent. Watch this shit. <sighs> He's just a southern guy, dude. I don't know, but we I mean, it's in the folder. It says play for Bobby. I know, but... <laughs> could, uh, 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 okay. <laughs> Can I just say something real quick? And yeah. I, I want to be really cool, and that's not for comedy. I and I'm not even doing a thing where I'm trying to be confrontational. I understand, but also. No, no, I know you don't but, understand. But I, I want to be real, be real serious. But be real, real. You. If it's something about this folder prep, just look to your left, okay? I didn't prep the folder. Go ahead. I know, but you're the boss, so it's like you could go, you know, I'm not going to do this because it's uncomfortable. So I, I, I just want to ask you, and I want to be, I don't. I know it's the Red Bull. I don't want to be. Yeah. I just want to be real with you. And you okay. can cut this part out. I don't know if it's live. You can cut this part it's out. It's not live. All right, good. So let me just be real with you for a second. Okay. Sure. And you as well, because I think you're a part of it. <laughs> okay. Oh, my God. Okay. Fine. I want to let you know this. Look at me, Tom. Okay. Okay. I don't know anything about being Asian. I don't think about it. Like when I wake up and I go, hmm, I'm Asian. Yeah. It's not even a thought processes. Not even when you get like to brush your teeth, you're looking in the mirror. No, I don't. Okay. I don't look at no. I don't look in the mirror and go, "Wow, I'm a Korean guy brushing my teeth." Really? Yeah. I'm, really? I'm I'm myself. Like do you say I'm half Peruvian? Uh, There's a half fat Peruvian guy with a f- fat skinny. <laughs> Here's a half fat skinny but still looks fat Peruvian guy brushing his teeth, right? Wow. I'm a half fat, ugly Peruvian guy. <laughs> Why is it Wal- so ugly? I, I, don't, I don't. Think it's walking down the street, right? Do yeah. you think that? No, actually, you just are a half Peruvian, half flat, f- kind of fat okay. black guy. <laughs> to answer your question, I do think that pretty often. <laughs> like I do think that pretty often. Oh, you do think that? Yes, of course. Well, then you need help. Well, I, maybe well, I, I, do. I do too. I'll be like, yeah. I'm blonde, but I'm my roots are growing, and I'm not as blonde right now. Or like, right, right. But what I'm saying is, is that but every single video. Whenever yeah. I'm on this podcast, yeah, has something to do with Asians. Like, you're right. Tell yeah, me but about that, this. But Look at this right. accent. But is that your fault? Kind of. <laughs> it is my fault. Okay. It, it is my fault. You're right. You're right. You know what? You're right. Yeah. You're right. You know and what? hold on. I think you're right. <laughs> it shouldn't just be stuff like that, because you're not just a fucking Korean guy. No, you're more. And you than can that to you us. can comment on more than just Asian. You're more things. than just Asian. That being said, though. <laughs> What's she doing? Why is she doing that? God, those front teeth are so strong. Well, Chinese people have buck teeth. Is that what you're saying? They have buck teeth? Like, is that what you're saying? Like, if you look at any cartoon drawings... That's so true. Why did they in the do 50s, that? That's and they not make them true. Buck teeth? Well, that is true. Look what they're doing. Oh, yeah. And what's the uh, what's the most famous one? Breakfast at Breakfast Tiffany's. Breakfast at Tiffany's. Yeah, they are... Oh, the... But like... <laughs> I got that to you. Hey, you know what I mean? He does. Remember his, what he says? <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> you just I, love it. That, you just love it. Uh, yeah. There he is. Mickey yeah, but, Rooney. Mickey Rooney, yeah. yeah. Mickey Rooney, yeah. And he says cataract. He's like, <gasps> yeah, how does he say? I don't even. I don't remember. I can't even watch that because it's so offensive. <laughs> really? Yeah. But you know what the 2022 version of that is? What? These videos you're showing you know what? me. I'll switch it up. I'll switch yeah, it up. Yeah, that's what the 2022 version of that and is. Also, uh, let me talk to these guys. Knock it off. Yeah, who's the one that's doing it? I'm being real. And you don't look at the folders before you, we come? No, it just says, look, the thing says for Bobby. Yeah. But Bobby, you don't see this as an incredible uh, talent. Look, I found this on TikTok, okay? I'm yeah, not yeah. going to be honest with you. I didn't say, oh, oh a Chinese lady. I, I went, Wow, this bitch has got great front teeth. Mm-hmm. Right. I couldn't do that. I've got fake veneers that would Let's crack. Let's switch it up. Let's I, not I do any more Asian talent. stuff. Yeah. All right. Thank okay. you to my friend on TikTok telling me to read the big letters. I didn't pay attention to the big letters. I was just looking at the other one. They are wrong what they said. <laughs> <laughs> I was born in September, you fat. I'm not saying the other word. <laughs> That's really funny. They are wrong <laughs> what they did. I'm, I, I'm not reading the other one because you're fat. I'm not, I'm not saying what the other word is. Look. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let me point something out. Yeah, that's great. Not Asian. <laughs> but we don't um, know. No, I know. I've seen her. No, she's, she's not Asian. Yeah, I just don't know. Well, mm. this is her. I got black oh, in my I see. family. Mm. I dated black men. Okay. Oh. Uh. Now, you want more she's of this? On TikTok. I want to follow her. 
TikTok. She is on TikTok. Well, her account gets deleted a lot, and she pops up in different accounts. So and what is she, what is she, what's her whole thing? Her. What's her whole thing? Well, sometimes she has no teeth, and she usually re- responds angrily to people's comments. Like, uh, she's mm-hmm. always keyed up. Yeah, 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 yeah. right, right, right. Her. I'm not this and that. I'm not the. It's usually mm-hmm. that. Does someone like this make money? No, no. 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 She's not monetized. But she's not a TikTok star. Like, I don't know no. how, how to, because, you know, I know a couple of, I want to make fun of them. I want to say their names, but, you know, like, I know a couple of guys that really kind of didn't fully make it as a stand up will come up to me and go, yeah, I'm doing pretty well. I got like 2 million followers on TikTok. And I, I just want, oh, wow. and I just want to go, oh, really? Thank really? you. That's my dream. Really? I feel like I'd, I'd make it if I could just get 2 million. I keep getting, uh, I keep getting banned. My, I always get flagged for my content <laughs> and banned. Can I ask you a, a, a real serious thing that I'm going through right now? Yeah. And I don't want to say the person's name, and you're not going to... I don't know, forget it. We'll, I'll talk to you later about it. Well, give me a hint, say though. Say it. I know, because we I just realized where I was. And we can also, like, we can also bleep it. We can bleep it. I'm so stupid for even... Go. I don't know what to do. What about her? Super aggressive. No, what I'm saying is this, okay? Just hear me out. I'm okay? hearing you out. So at the comedy store, right, a couple of months ago, she had just come in and bomb people. Mm-hmm. I'm going up, and she would do a long time. So I got to the point where I was just like, you know what? I don't want her to go up before me. I don't care. I'm, I don't, she's not going to bump me anymore, right? And I, I will not go up if she does that. And she did it to Andrew Santino a couple times, right? So they told her, they go, you can't bump. And Jessalyn, like, too. Jessalyn, like, hates her because she does the same thing, right? So they just told her, you can't bump anymore. Just call in. We'll give you spots every night. Yeah. She goes, no. Nah. She goes, no. Nah. Right? And she would hang out there. And now she's at the point, she won't even look at me or talk to me. Mm. Right? And then she went to the improv and tried to do the same thing. And they said, no, you can't do this anymore. Right? And now she's at the Laugh Factory doing it. Right? And she's burning all these bridges. And she ref- she thinks she's above calling in. Like, right. like so what Sebastian and Ali Wong does. I think that those are two... You guys, too. I mean, big comics that just call in their spots and they go up. What's the fucking big deal? Yeah. It's not right. But she wants special treatment. Well, you know that it's just something that's going on with that person. It has nothing to do. But with what it. is it about somebody that, like, you know what I mean, makes it? Yeah. Right. They get a good thing after struggling for years. I was there when she was struggling for years. Maybe it's wanting more recognition, you know? Bobby. Wanting to be celebrated more. Do you want special treatment? No. No. Do you, want to know, do you want to know something that I did? I did a show in New York. Yeah. And it was, in New York, they, people still mask up, right? Mm. Like a lot. Dorks. And I went into the bar. like You had a mask on? I did not. Uh-huh. But almost everybody else did. And I was like, I'm not gay. So I went up to the bar. <laughs> and <laughs> the More person retired. that you are talking about yeah. was next to me at the bar. Yeah. And gave me such a glowing compliment about my set that I was like very flattered. And I was like, thank you so much. I said, I think you're amazing too. And I think you've done like incredible things. And I think you're so funny. And they were like, really? And I go, yeah. And I just just went on and on. And then they took their mask off. And it was not that person. No. <laughs> <laughs> Who was it? A fucking regular human stranger, a civilian. And I was like, that's just what happened to him yeah. last weekend. Don't bring that up again. At a party. Don't bring that. All right. <laughs> well, you keep bringing that up again. So I was there for the nightmare and it was so funny and sad at All the right, same so time. All right. So we were at a, we can't say the name, but we were at a huge person's house for 4th of July. Yeah. Like, you know, like a big time person. Bigger than Burt Kreischer. What? Well, not even the same dimension. Like Bert's here. This person's here. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, yeah. Bert's a, on the bottom. A lister. Mm. Oh wow. Super A lister. Okay. Can Can you say? Uh, we'll we'll tell out. you later. Okay. I'll tell you. Well, well, don't roll your. Wait, I, can, your I, can tell you, like, I can tell you. Just bleep it. It's um, bleep. um. Wow. So who's bigger, that person or Bert Kreischer? Oh, yes. Be honest yeah, with yeah, me. That, that person. person. That person. Yeah. All right. I got no a story contest. about that person too. It oddly enough. Yeah, yeah. So we're at that person's house. Yeah. And. You know, there's great things. You know, there's, you know, whenever you go to like somebody that's like big like that, there's llamas. <laughs> you yeah. hear me walking around and baby cows and the kind of food that you eat is like, oh, this is the greatest like food I've ever eaten. Anyway, and they had a bunch of 
musical people there, obviously. And um, I can say that, right? Yeah. And we're standing there, and I see this lady walk up to me, and she's just like, and I go, she thinks I'm a, co- she knows me, I'm a comedian. And she walks up to me, and she goes, yeah, my friends, just tell me I don't do this enough. And I just, I'm just trying to, you know what I mean, go outside my box and just say stuff that I really feel. I go, yeah, yeah. And she goes, you know, like, you know, I had a song that you remixed, and I want to say that, <laughs> She goes, I want to say, and I go, I, 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 um, yeah, yeah, I, I, I'm not Steve Aoki, right? Yeah. She goes, no, 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 she Chad? goes, no, no, well, she, first she goes, she walks up to me, she, before she even says that, she goes, hey, Steve, I go, Bobby, she goes, Steve, right? Yeah. And then she goes into that, so then I have to go, I just said, I'm not Steve Aoki, and she didn't even believe me at first, she just kept going, yeah, so anyway, you mix the thing. And I go, and then you had to jump in and go. Oh, no, I not. took five steps back. I did not want to be a part was of that. Some, did you know who the person was? No, but she was, I could, I know that she was talented. Yeah. yeah. Right. And I go, no, seriously, I, you know, I, I get this all the time, which I don't. First of all, I don't look like Steve. Yeah, not even a little bit. Not even a little bit. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. But I had to make her feel because I, I could feel that she was embarrassed. But then you understand why I play these clips for you. Like, <laughs> <laughs> No, you look, look at, anything not, like it's him. It's not even the same thing, the clips and that. No, oh know, my God, this guy's not even remotely. Like, this guy's tall and thin and handsome and he's got full hair. Hey, and fuck like. you. You know what? I'll show, I'll show you what I look like. Okay? Oh, that? Oh, wow. Is that how you look my at the party? Hair was down. Yeah. Uh, like this, and I had the beanie on, right? Okay, yeah. so that you makes I mean? a little more. Yeah. So I was standing at the party like that. And you were sucking your cheeks in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So it makes more sense. Okay, and well, then that she makes walked sense. up. Yeah. Hey, yeah, I give her a pass. No, I did give her a pass, okay. but I did blush. I didn't really. I can't believe how long your hair is. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty long. It's gorgeous. Yeah. Thanks, man. Yeah, yeah. So I had this Jeez. hair. Yeah, but um, uh, that's happened. So it's the same thing as the, <laughs> the the other thing. Yeah, at the bar, you know. Sure. Mm-hmm. How long does this go? We, we're going to wrap it up. Um, How'd it go? I, I, that was fun. This was so much you know fun. I, mean? yes. I think I was a little too hyperactive a little bit, but this was great. I, I apologize. This was absolutely great. Uh, Yep. Anything else? Well, you know, obviously watch and, and download Tiger Belly and um, uh, also and Trash, and Tuesday. Trash Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday. And um, join uh, Bobby, uh, uh, what is it, on Halo or, or where, what are you playing these days? Just Stardew Valley and then you can't join me on that. There, the, oh, so sure. am, I, am I really doing your date? Because I have to lock it down tonight. Yeah. That date. So You're that, locked in. in the, we have to tell production that um, those I'm going to Canada. Okay. And then... Um, Thank you so much for the opportunity. Yeah, I'm excited to yeah, hang out I with can't you. Can't wait. Yeah. <laughs> what? And, and you'll like. You're just it's so neurotic. It's just. It's. Is it always like that in there? In there, in my head. Yeah. You know your attitude, right? With the, I think it's the whole look or whatever. <laughs> but this is somebody I don't know. I don't know you right now. Yeah. And I love you, I love you too, but I don't know you right now. And let's just, Tom. Yep. <laughs> Canada baby. Canada baby. Dog baby. <laughs> Pussy restaurants. Yeah. All right, we'll do it. Uh, thank you guys for coming. I love you. Thank I you. Love, love you guys. guys. Thanks for thank listening you. and watching. Bye bye. There's got to be someone that knows.
Hey, you just watched a full episode of your mom's house. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you didn't, watch another one. Maybe you'll like that one. They're everywhere. Look, I don't know. They place them in like cubes, squares, whatever it is. Just click another one. Maybe you'll find someone you like or someone will get hurt. <laughs>